Spring is going to hit a little different this year because we're all finally starting to get back outside and see friends again. No matter where your adventures take you, bring the comfort and style of Mack Weldon along for the ride. Whether it's their hoodies, polos, tees, or active shorts, everything in the Mack Weldon collection mixes and matches seamlessly to fit in with any other products you have. Springtime means kissing season, and Mack Weldon's Ace Sweatpants, Vesper Polo, and Pima Silver or Dry Knit T-shirts keep you active and fresh. Mack Weldon promises comfort and a consistent fit in everything they make from working out, going out, going to work or on a date. Mack Weldon is for everyday life. And with Weldon Blue, Mack Weldon's free loyalty program, you get free shipping for life. Mack Weldon wants you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep them and they'll still refund you. No questions asked. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash peasants and enter promo code peasants. That's MacWeldon.com slash peasants, promo code peasants for 20% off. Mac Weldon, reinventing men's basics. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away with this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Drunken Peasants Podcast 883. Do it live. And we've got one amazing show for you today. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. First, please like the stream. Liking the stream helps us out tremendously. It helps increase awareness on this platform that buries us constantly. So do that. Also, actual mania happening tomorrow. Scott will be joining us. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's me. Yeah, Scott that's will be Scott. joining us. Last time he ended up becoming a competitor, too, and he didn't even realize it. Literally did not know that was <laughs> happening until it happened. And I, considering that, I think I fared pretty well. You did pretty well. You did very well, I think. Yeah, um, you did well. I mean, for a debut, I would say very well. He made it up. Superheroes to- do good. I do well. 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 Yeah. Um, also, uh, for those of you who like the DP t-shirt, if you've seen the design, I'll put it up here. Uh, it's a Patreon-exclusive DP t-shirt. It's an additional perk to everyone who signs up for the $25 or above uh, perk level for three months in a row. And over 100 of them have already gone out. Uh, basically, once you hit that third month of, of support, um, you it they send the shirt to you. You just have to make sure that your address is uh, included in your account. You and you do that through your settings. So that's that's still available. It's going away three months from from June. So once we hit June, you have to sign up then to get it and stick around for three months after that. And then it's going away, and I don't know when it'll, you know, we might use this design again sometime, but there's no plans in using it in the near future, and this way, you get all of the cool Patreon perks included with it, and a, and a cool shirt. Look at this, look at this, look at this handsome young man. Yeah, if you take a picture with your tongue out, we'll probably show it off too. Yeah, yeah. So you better have a look good tongue. Look at that. He's got That's a, a good head of hair. He's got a mullet and a fanny pack. It's it, it's it's early. He's 90s. really going for it. Yeah, look. I respect it. My mom messaged me last time that we showed this picture, and she said my dad had a mullet when he bedded her. Oh yeah, and made me. Oh yeah, I so mean, I wouldn't exist without hot ass mullets. I mean, those were in fashion <laughs> when he bedded her. <laughs> yeah, when he bedded her. I think he has a Kansas City uh, Chiefs uh, uh, flag, though, in the back, which is problematic. So, so bravo. 
Okay. I see. What do I? I see a Chicago Bears. Mm-hmm. I see a Chicago Black. I think it's a Chicago guy. I don't think it's. Oh, a oh yeah, guy. you're right. You're right. It is Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago Blackhawks. I, you, yeah, you're yeah. right. He must Trust be from me, Chicago. Trust me. I know my Indian sports logo. <laughs> well, here's the thing. How long before those all go away? All hockey? of them. Oh, there's no racism in hockey. Yeah, hockey. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you can fight. Literally fight people yeah. on the ice. You should see what they call the one black guy on each team. It's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing that there's one black guy on each team now. <laughs> see how far we've time, come? I just thought that was the puck. Oh, my Pro- God. Oh my Is that God. racist? <laughs> there uh, might be no, racism just in ma- hockey, guys. There might be. I'm just mad I didn't think of it. I'm, God damn it. I'm worried to know what your take on bowling is. Well, that's uh, oh my God. black power. Bo- bowling is reverse racism because the blood yeah. ball's knocking down the white. One big yes. black ball barreling down a bunch of fucking skinny rednecks. That's how, that's how we feel every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, uh, a question about getting the shirt shipped. If I don't have a fixed address, can I have it sent to the YMCA? Uh, yes, I believe so. <laughs> Just ask Lucas Werner. Um, he should be able to tell you. <laughs> My boy Luke. Yep. So we're going to start with a segment that we don't do very often, but it's fun and people love it when, when we do pull oh, it Oh, is it Be re- Mean to Billy for no reason? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't do yeah. that segment often. <laughs> My favorite segment. Oh, 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 I can't believe I called it. Well, basically, it's evolved to uh, it's it's become like let's watch old content or embarrassing content of people who appear on the show. Here, yeah. here's an early Scott promo. I'm going to the East Coast real, real soon, and I've got some certain words oh, yeah. for some certain people. First off, Omega, you're such a little bitch on the internet and in real life. I have never seen... Is that a Hawaiian shirt? You bet your ass it is. So it's a dog whistle, basically. Oh! Uh, who's to say? Where's Actually, your... Also, what's funny is, is the sound I just made was also a dog whistle. Uh, <laughs> where's, where, where's your tiki torch? Any male I... Oh, it's, it's in the back. I know, cry more than you. don't you. want to steal I've that gimmick. You twice, and on the internet, Jesus fucking Christ... The incessant whining, complaining, bitching about the backyard link fantasy tournament and how you're not, I don't know, presumably number one seems to be your problem with the whole thing. Because you've had this lengthy ESW title reign and had defenses against your So what's up with this camera angle? Why is it I I know you're taller than most people, but I'm very tall. Yeah, but you... I'm seven foot three. No. Have you seen this Omos guy on on Monday Night Raw? <laughs> I'm a little taller than him. He's very tall. So are you? St- uh, I I have no idea what the reasoning behind the camera angle choice was. <laughs> if this was uh, 15 years ago, when you were how old? Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> let me, hold on, let me check. Does math add up? I was four. Baby. Okay. I was four. Your energy Andes and I'm your blue. logos and your black people. Oh. What? Give me a call. I, that doesn't sound like me. That's someone when else. You, you talking hockey fit. now? Against someone who We're talking hockey. Give a shit. Maybe I'll bump you up in the rankings a little bit. Frankly, I think it's a travesty that you're as high as you are now. That ESW title, you've had it for nigh on a year. And you've had it so long and done so much with it, it's almost become your identity. So I ask you, Umaga, what will you be once you lose the title? Umaga? Yeah. His name was Omega, and I called him Umaga because I thought it was funny. Oh, I thought you wrestled Umaga and then. (laughs) Also, I wrestled Umaga and killed him. (laughs) (laughs) All you have left, you'll be stripped of everything that made you you. From mid-2005 to mid-2006, the prime of your life! I ask you that, because you'll need to think about that real soon. When I become the quad crown champion, I am already a triple crown champion. I possess the VCW world title, the BWA world title, and the NWA Western Stage Heritage title, which together comprise the BCW triple crown. And that ESW world heavyweight title would make a nice, nice, nice 
fourth belt. Wow. You know, it wasn't. It was uh, okay. Spoiler, I did beat him. How do you like that? Yeah. If Egghead wins the tag team title at Actual Mania, he'll be a, a triple crown champion. Oh, damn. Oh, he, here's, a, here's a fun fact for you. The show I beat Omega for the title on is the same show that Billy threw up. Oh, wow. Was that? It was that show. That yes, was it was. One? BYE 5. BYE 5 Alive, baby. Huh. Interesting. All right, so I have a I have a Billy video too. The next year, I wrestled yeah. Omega, and he stepped on my face and left a big footprint yes. on my face. He did, a, he did like a, a what was it, a shooting star press or something or a four fifty? Might have been a shooting off star off the top rope yeah. and overshot it or undershot it and landed foot first in my face. So what? He was like a high flying guy. <laughs> he sure did. But, uh, he was he was a he was a flying guy. Okay. So this is this is a classic clip of Billy. Um, it's Billy eating gum off of the Seattle Pike Place Market gum wall. Yes. I have to eat a piece of gum off. These two Korean girls were egging him on, oh. basically. Somebody just oh my God. I have to you, you, will, will you will you pick a piece of gum on the wall for me to chew? Will you pick it? But find you don't want to find the one for me? Could you, could I, I, what, what looks like a good one to eat? On the wall here. There was me and a clone of me. Yeah, Clone <laughs> Ben showed up. What color? Who was a fan of, of Drunken <laughs> Peasants. Yeah. Um, I don't the, know. Oh she picks God. the grossest looking one at <laughs> first. Yeah, it looks like a girl one? oozy booger. That one? A that black. one looks so gross. Oh, my God. Hold on. I have to flip this around. <laughs> this one right here. She picked that Oh, green why? One. What a bitch. She she what kind of bitch would you slide? You hate me. Do you hate oh, me? No, no. Does that one look delicious to you? Does it really look delicious? No, I'm joking. Just I'm, joking. It looks like Job of the Hut. And now she said okay, she's eat. just joking. This one because you picked it out. Yeah. Because you picked it out. Now I she will let me eat it. Are you sure? Yeah. Then I looked at the bottom. I'll take a bowl of Will you pick... Pick one that's cuter. Like, I want a pretty one. I just wanted a pretty one. <laughs> I don't blame She's you. She's joking. She's joking? Yeah. What, what's a good one I can have? I want a good one. I, like, like a... What, what's... what's what, that one looks so dirty. It's, yes, right? Yeah. yeah They're all so, dirty. So... If, if, okay. Well, that one was I'm particularly I'm a sweet boy. I want a, gross. I want a sweet one. <laughs> sweet? Yeah, a, a nice sweet one. This, okay, that one. That's much better. It's nice, oh my gosh, okay, that's the one. Worst thing about this one is it was still think? warm. Uh, Ooh, a freshie. Yeah. Uh, it's Africa. Uh, Africa? It's Africa? No, no, no. It's not on Africa, no. Yeah. So this is the one. You pick this Sorry, one? Sorry, how did Africa okay. come up? I, I have know, no man. idea. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no way. Oh, really? Yeah. They're like, really? You you really are? They thought you were joking the whole time. Yeah. I'm, I have, I, I gotta, I have to, I have to. You, you want it? She said, "How's it taste?" Hold on, Oh, thank you. Thank it, was, it tasted okay. It tasted okay. Yeah. Oh. What, what was your name? My name is Nessie. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your thank help you tonight. Guys. Thank you, guys. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> that it was wasn't crazy. good. It wasn't good. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was icky. now. Is this where where we admit it was a work and that you put that gum there five minutes earlier? I wish it was a work. <laughs> I wish it was. Yeah, no, that was not. I work. no, we we were not there earlier. We met up and like walked there, like this down was the like, street. Probably like a week before the first reported case of COVID in the U.S. Right? I think or in, in China. In China, it huh. was December of 2019, like hmm. late 19. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that Ben used to be Fidel Castro. I, oh, oh, because I wore the it, like infantry cap. 
I actually have yeah. uh, like a communist one with a with a red star on it and everything, but I don't wear it that <laughs> often. But yes, I was Fidel Castro. That was uh, pretty gross. I'm looking at that now, I imagine it was pretty gross. I Especially think- if it was fresh. It's almost worse fresh because like they're still active someone else's saliva in there yeah. it hasn't dried out and I there's ran. all the dirt of like downtown and if it's low enough maybe a bum pissed on it you oh, know it was a high one like luckily that. that'd have to take oh man can you imagine how many drunk bums walk down that alley at night and just piss all over the gum yes <laughs> yes i, I can imagine that now i can imagine a lot i want to do gum pissies you do, you don't know that a high pisser didn't get that gum. Oh, I don't. I, know. I do know it was warm. Someone with good kidney function. <laughs> yeah, warm with piss. Yeah, it was piss warm. I ran across the street after that and bought a hot cup of tea from Starbucks <laughs> to try and burn my mouth out. Ah, good times. That sounds almost I, as good of an idea as when you went through a car wash and tried to wash your skin with the high pressure hose at a yeah, car wash. That would hurt. I was up- covered in cake, right? Yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, so I would have uh I, I would have washed that out with some mac and cheese from Beecher's handmade mm. cheese. Oh like, my like, god, that's, that's delicious. Some good shit. Yeah, that's probably the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Hmm. Um they have real fucking good. smoked turkey legs down there too. That's my favorite thing to get when I'm at the place. Yeah, the, yeah, the they market. Do. I get a nice jumbo turkey leg at the place. The place. Can I call it the place? I just did. Sure. If you if you would like to, you don't need my permission. Oh, good. You uh, do need my permission though, and permission not granted. Wow, permission Scott. request denied. That's a real dick move. I, I, I still will go to Pike Place Market and get a turkey leg. So everyone like the stream. I think you'll if, find I'm tough but fair. <laughs> everyone like the stream if you haven't already. Uh, quick reminder: this is the second show of this week. We're trying to meet our goal. If we could get this goal to about 50% before the end of the stream, which we're already almost to 20%, that would help out a lot to help us accomplish the goal this coming Saturday. If we can get to at least 50%. So if someone wants to throw down like $345.80, great. Do Do that. Yeah. Do it. Do it. And if will, only for my math skills. We'll read your messages after each segment as well. So, yeah, so we're, we're going to go into the news next because uh, there's news, I guess. I'm so tired of I, I, political news is just ridiculous at this point. I've been ignoring most of it, but I have a little bit. I saw a news clip today. Uh, I was going to send it to you, but I looked at the front page of it and it was graphic. There was a guy that uh, was in court from Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And he tried to escape his court hearing. And he, uh, I I guess he got charged because they found his DNA on an Oreo. And he ran out of the courtroom. And to get away, he jumped off of a six-story balcony. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there was like a picture of him splattered. It was so bad. I didn't send it to you. So it is the the worst case scenario of Ookie Cookie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They're laughing at us. Who at took stupidity. the cookie from the cookie jar? So, I've heard of a few states doing this. Uh, Ohio is doing a COVID vaccination lottery. If you're under 18, they give you a full ride to college, to, to the college of your choice. If you're over 18, you win a million dollars, and they're giving away a million dollars to five people who, have, who are fully vaccinated nice. in their state. Really? Yes. Yes. Now, the Republicans- Are they all in dumb states? Like, do you have to, like, the trade-off is you have to live in a dumb state to for one of these lotteries? Ohio's the only one I actually know of for sure, but I think a few others might be doing it. But, yeah, uh, it's- it's a vaccination lottery. Certain Republicans in the state are trying to get rid of it, but it most people are all for it. So here's here's a story. No about, shit. Here's a story about uh, a teen that won the tuition. If protecting yourself against COVID isn't incentive uh, enough to get the vaccine, how about winning a million dollars or a full I like how condescending that was. <laughs> that is what two lucky Ohio residents are now enjoying, all because they got vaccinated. Aww. The state announcing the first winners of its vaccine lottery, Vax a recent a college grad- 
graduate took home the $1 Love million dollar prize. And 14-year-old Joseph Costello won a four-year full-ride college scholarship. Joseph is joining but me now with where? his parents, Colleen uh, and Richard. Hopefully, if the adults like, got a million dollars, he gets a full ride wherever they accept him, I would hope. No college. Yeah, and not like you have to go to Arizona State, a safety yeah, school. No college right now costs more than a million dollars for tuition, right? No. I, we'll, we'll see about that. I mean, maybe <laughs> like maybe like if you went to Harvard Medical School or something like that or law school, um, it would you know, it might be like that. Costello. It's great to see you. A great to meet school. you, Joseph. Now, what that's is... not including student books, because once you go get the books, that's definitely the for books. you. How did you find out that you'd won? Um, my dad was driving me home from youth group, and then youth group. The um, yeah, youth where is group? Englewood? It must be down near hey, West Virginia hey, or man, Kentucky. Did you go to People youth group in Columbus, Ohio? <laughs> I don't think this person's from. The <laughs> government told me in my driveway that I had won the scholarship from the vaccine and dream of the lottery. Man. Dude, this kid got aut or I, no, I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> maybe don't say I'm that. Not say it. Uh, I will say that this kid got vocal. I will say about that it. this kid got vocal fry from getting the vaccine. Okay, well, yeah, which is uh, not not verified though. I will not say verified. this kid got a scholarship from getting the vaccine, and that's you know what he pretty did. cool. I think when you Arizona heard that. State. It is down. It's in Southern Ohio. That's why he talks this ASU way. ASU is where you'll get the bang, uh, the bang like all the co-eds. Ohio, ASU's Tucky, humping, humping college. How about the um, the co I, I was pretty huh? blown away with it, but yeah, really happy about it. How weird is this, Joseph? One day you go to get a vaccine, and the next you're live on national TV. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Goes. Very weird. Completely. <laughs> Colleen, tuition, room, and board. I mean, that really is fantastic. What do you think about this whole thing? How does this full ride, what does this full ride mean for your family? And it's really exciting. It means everything to our family. We've always okay, so maybe it's just their accent. The mom talks the same way as the kid. Plans for yeah, they, they have this Ohio Tucky accent. Because they're from Southern Ohio, yeah. which is not real Ohio. I'm sorry. That but dad I, is wearing that belt pretty high. So this He's was our hopes it. when we entered the the vaccine. A 22 year old woman won the one the first one million dollar drawing. Nice. I just Good looked it her. up. Yeah. Million a contest that maybe one of our children would win. So yeah, this what we were hoping for, and we were really happy. You know, um, Richard, the point of this lottery is to convince people who might be on the fence, right, to get a vaccine, to kind of make them, to, to push them over the line. If the possibility of winning a million dollars is what gets you to the other side of the fence, you've got issues. I like, mean, it, Yeah, you have issues, but I, this is actually, it's picking up in a lot of places. There's been uh, some states that have uh, chicken pox outbreaks, and they're going to start giving out scratch tickets. To people who go to chicken pox parties? Don't acknowledge. Don't acknowledge. To get them to get the shot. Your family yep. is now an example for a lot of other families. What is your message to other families with teenage kids about this? All right, they uh, on two fronts, they have nothing to lose. Uh, a, there's the safety component of just being vaccinated, and B, the, the, the possibility of winning uh, you know, scholarship or money. And um, so th that's the way we see it. Um, it's really, it's, it's a very good thing. Colleen, did you think, are you pinching yourself today? This is the worst commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. I said to my coworkers at lunch yesterday that my life could change because the Vaximilian drawing was going to be that evening. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> We were excited. To, we were I said to my coworkers that my life could change because I went to Vaximilian. Uh, get the fucking vaccine <laughs> so your life doesn't change, you assholes. This was going to win. So it, the fact that that actually happened, it's so hard to believe. 
You guys should really be going out and buying some scratch tickets or some Powerball. I mean, I'm feeling really mm. good about being around no, you guys. You should you... go out and spit in everybody's mouth now that you're vaccinated. Ow. That's the only reason to get vaccinated. So you can start spitting in the mouth. So we can get back to spitting. Gotta do it. You can send some of that magical lucky dust my way. I would really appreciate it. So, Joseph, one last thing, my friend. I had heard that you, one of the schools you're considering is Ohio State. As someone who married into a Michigan family, I just have to ask you, can you please consider Miami, Ohio? (laughs) Yeah, I actually also was already considering that. This kid is so cringy. I don't know. It changes. You've got plenty of time. He's about to go to college and be swimming in pussy because he brought the vaccine million. Thank you very, very much and congratulations. I like the lottery idea, but they should have done it a different way. They should have seen they should have gone much, much, much lower with the prize. They su- they should have seen how low they could possibly go to still make anti vaxxers abandon their principles. <laughs> like like a right. hundred dollars. What yeah. about a hundred dollars? Yeah, four hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if twenty seven put- bucks. If like one in every. 100,000 needles had like super soldier serum in it and like you go and instead of getting money so, so like, that would that would be like SS serum yeah you become super, like super a superhero serum. or something you become or, like an SS the limitless drug you know the limitless drug the drug that makes <laughs> I did, you limitless I believe, I believe Bradley Cooper took it yes give you the, one in one million people get that that's, that's just that's cool. fun that's a good lottery I like that that's fun <sighs> yeah, I don't know. The, this uh the idea that they have to give a lottery for people to get vaccinated is a little unfortunate. Yeah. Like it's kind of funny. I, I I do like the idea that people are selling themselves out now though, just because they get a little scratched in. Yeah, for a lottery ticket. <laughs> and are aren't all lotteries rigged anyways? Like aren't they all of them? Doesn't the Every CIA just a appoint winners? They're yeah, all no, agents. no one, uh, no one's actually checked, but uh, Jeff Bezos has has won the last four hundred Powerball drawings. Yeah, he doesn't even play. He doesn't, <laughs> he even, doesn't play even play. That's what's so. Unf- you know what? If he bought the ticket, okay, fine, but he's not even buying the ticket. Lottery is a trap. Scratch tickets, not so much. Obviously, those are legit. Obviously, I've been paid out sixty bucks on a scratcher, so it's got to be real. <laughs> Made myself For sixty sure. bucks on a scratcher. It's not bad. Sixty bucks. That's yeah. No, pretty, that's my kind of lottery money. Pretty proud. Pretty proud on a scratcher. Jimmy, would you say it was the best day of your life? No. Gun to your head. Second, top three. Nope. Don't act like it's not top three. Don't sit there, look me in the fucking eye, and say winning 60 bucks. 60 bucks on a scratcher isn't in the top three days of your life. Scott, I've had three days uh, uh, with you that were better than the day that I won 60 bucks on a scratcher. You know what? You have. That's uh, that's actually true. Remember when we went to the Nordic Lodge buffet? All right, next story. That was a good day. <laughs> Florida, was a good day. Florida high school digitally covers up girls in yearbook photos. Have you seen this? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's nuts. Nope, but I like it. They're like, we're. It was certainly not the picture perfect moment they expected when Riley O'Keefe and Zoe Iannone, both freshmen at Bardham Trail High School in St. John's County, Florida, Bardem opened Trail. their brand new yearbook. They immediately noticed something was off, or rather, added on. Their photos had been Look edited at that. to cover. Oh, God, that is it's really bad. It's not even edited well. Could at you, least yeah. edit it well. You could have given somebody on Fiverr uh, this gig, and yeah. they would have done better. Just airbrush really the cleavage out. Come her on. Chest. You couldn't do Initially anything about her braces? You surprised and shocked. And then <laughs> yeah. as it goes on, you just feel, like, gross and, like, embarrassed. She's growing and her hair back. Object- objectified. Little Molly Ringwald there. Yeah, she was I, she was I'm showing a, off before. I'm on their side, but how are they being objectified by being covered up more? Uh, because they're saying that what they were wearing 
was too sexually bad. explicit. So by covering them up, they're exploiting their original attire. So wh- They're objectifying their original day-to-day attire. If the school is going to do this, they should just make it against their dress code. That way they don't have to, to edit the yeah, yearbook. Don't let them take the picture. No, if the, that's your issue, the right. school the school should just suck it up and put the damn girls in there. Well, I agree with that. I'm saying if they're going to have this policy, they shouldn't let them dress they that way in school. They shouldn't have this policy. The school should be shamed. That's not what I'm saying. And it should be the yeah. school should be I, shut down. I what? say do one topless shot just for fun. Yeah, and you know if the girls. Kept if it's what the ages, they area. realized they were not alone. I got very upset and I was very uncomfortable that that's how they were looking at our photos. Uh, immediately, uh, I my blood started to boil. In all, at least 80 photos were edited. All female students deemed to be in dress code violation after the pictures were taken. For these families, after. it's not... Yeah, I, I went to a Catholic school where they wouldn't be allowed to come to school dressed like that. And just that the pictures Catholic would they be allowed uniforms. to come at school? <laughs> edited, Some, but dressed like how? That sometimes? Here's Riley and Zoe before and after. Basically, yeah, now so their fucked. body parts are of additional focus and attention that never would have been there in the first place if the school hadn't called attention to it. They felt like they'd done something wrong. It felt like their bodies were being shamed and they were embarrassed. These parents say they were later told it was modesty editing. NBC News has reached out to the school and the district with no response. But we are told the school is offering refunds to families upset by the decision. Now, students no, and their parents are demanding a formal apology for what they call a dress code double standard. When the school goes and edits out my cleavage in a photo, but decides that a swim team photo is okay in Speedos, just sends the message that my body is inappropriate, that my body is, there's something wrong with it. The school website says, Yeah, all I in- agree with the school on that point. There is something wrong with your body. There is something wrong You're with broken? your body. No, obviously not. Oh. If I was one of these girls, you know what I would do? I would get everybody together and I would put out a calendar. A, a, now you're talking. And I would sell that calendar. Freshman calendar. Uh, you're just ripping this off from Say by the Bell. What do you mean? They did a calendar in Say by the Bell. Because they got edited? Uh, I don't know. This is a protest calendar. It's not a ripoff. This you is want, innovation. You want freshman girls to do a calendar? Look. It's innovation. Look, look. I'm not saying no. <laughs> Individual student pictures must be consistent with the St. John's County School District Student Code of Conduct or may be digitally altered. That code of conduct bans any clothing that is immodest, revealing, or distracting in that's character. That's not revealing. But these girls say if that's they're- distracting, you're a pervert. <laughs> yeah. If you're distracted by this <clears throat> little amount of oopsie boobs, you're a fucking sicko. Retired. Anybody who edited this is a sicko and should be have charges pressed against them and someone should watch their house. Did not fit Agreed. that bill. I think an apology is a huge thing that needs to happen. And I think in long term, the view of girls' bodies and young women's bodies and the dress code based on that needs to change. Well, NBC reached out to the yearbook teacher who does the editing but did not hear back. We're told that the quality of the editing is a product of being short-staffed this year. (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad they mentioned it because it's so bad. I do want to make a comment on the editing that I did, but first, before I do make my official statement, just know that we were understaffed and that's why it was so poor. (laughs) If I would have had a little more money, a little more time, I could have maybe made, uh, I don't know, little flowers, put some flowers over the bosom. Parents tell local reporters that their children are being made fun of on social media and in yearbook comments. Correct. Damn. Shout shout out to my Florida freshman taking slutty yearbook photos. (laughs) Keep it up, girls. Here's uh, a story about uh, student loan, federal loan repayments, because those have been on pause ever since the pandemic started. And before we get to this, I wanted to point out, I thought Biden was going to get rid of student loan debt. He hasn't. He talked a big game about it when he was running, and shortly after he took office. But now it's almost like he never even said that. Didn't he talk about it at his last uh, address that he did on, What's he, uh, on, after the hundred day address? What's going on with it? He's trying to push it into Congress, but right now Congress he could is, do uh, he could do um, like an executive order. Oh, you think he's going to start doing executive? I orders? think he should. Well, for things that he promised the people who voted for him that he would do, yes. 
would How have to be paying back those student loans. All the time. Owns in with the, the grace period ending October 1st. Experts Let's say see. you should really start yeah. preparing now to make those payments. The next thing to do is to set reminders. And these reminders have to do with key points in the timeline between now so the last executive right. order was uh so biden has done 46 executive orders since taking office trump during his entire presidency which was only four years 219 obama 276 executive orders happen all the time what are the executive orders like what are we what are, what are they oh doing? so now, here goes the like, goalpost moving it's not goalpost like, moving like, you're like saying no no fat no fat chicks I think yeah, that was one that one, Trump did. Like, what are they using for these executive orders? It could be literally anything. It can be military stuff. It can be funding for stuff. Okay, then let's put one on there. That a lot I of it's get COVID. free uh, Chipotle guacamole all the time. Let's throw that. No, on you got to pay for that shit. No, Biden, I want free Chipotle guacamole. Nah, that shit ain't free. Bill, come Clinton on. What did kind the of most. fantasy land are you living in? But you know, if Trump would have got two terms, he would have he would have gotten the record for the most ever if he would have kept on this pace. Yeah, Trump with numbers per year was putting up uh, putting a big game there. Obama did seven in 2017. That was that's less than he was 20 tired. days. No, that's that's you saw only, you saw Obama in 2017. He was fucking tired. He was Leave only president alone. in 2017 for 20 days. Care of veterans with service in Uzbekistan. That's like for, one every three days. There's a whole book. Oh, like, shit. Yeah. Here's all the Trump executive orders. Yeah, and what are I wonder what the costs of all these executive orders are because the cost of alleviating student loans that's going to be a whole lot, right? They don't have to do a hundred percent. They could do a fixed amount. They could do twenty thousand for everyone. That and some people won't even have twenty thousand of debt, and they won't have to pay that much for all these people. And you know what? I don't have any student loan debt. I just think it's a good thing because a lot of people go to college with this promise, like you go to college, you get a degree, you'll get a job in that field, which doesn't always happen. People people end up paying as much as they would to pay for a new house that they could live in for this piece of paper that they can't even use. It's ridiculous. Now and October 1st, you want to set reminders for getting in touch with your servicer. You want to set reminders for when your can payments we, uh, begin. And can you want we to go around the room and uh, see if each of us can guess what uh, NFCC stands for? Uh, I'll go last. <laughs> um, I mean, the N I know. The F I probably know. One of the C's I know. But foundation the, no, for... No, try again. No. Oh, did you already look right. it up? <laughs> No, no, but I have my own answer. <laughs> nice fucking choo-choo. <laughs> Three things. Big train guy. Livonia is a sweet girl. I got the tongue shirt. My family thought my grandma had a stroke. Turned out to be two things together that made it seem like a Ooh. stroke. The two things are pretty harmless, thankfully. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. good. I'm glad she's good. Good. Um, it's the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, so I was right. Uh, at with the first two, I wasn't sure what the CC was, but it, uh, it makes you sense. Sure, you you sure it wasn't beep beep yes, beep? I'm uh, sure because committee? none of those none of those are let, the letter B. So yes, <laughs> service. You know what? You got you. me there. Beep, beep, October first. Remember that's committee. the deadline. Okay, a recent survey showing most borrowers are not confident they can afford the payments in October, but preparing now. That could mean avoiding the consequences of so, late yeah, payment. Not only are we not getting any type of student loan forgiveness, but they're going to make people start paying again in a few months here. Well, yeah. maybe Biden will do a executive order at that point. Right now, they we'll have see. until October 1st. Why would he why would he do an executive order this early? He can do it whenever. But he, why would he knowing it's already taken be, care of until then? He wants be, Congress to pass he it. So could. Because, he wants Congress to come to because this conclusion. It's an option. Yeah. Um, how much is he paying you, Billy? One million dollars. Vax a million. <laughs> Did you win the Vax a million? Yes. So uh, there's a yoga ban in Alabama schools. I don't I don't get Finally. this. Let's see. So you should know this about me. I love yoga, which oh, makes good. this next story one of my favorites this week. In 1993, the Alabama Board of Education banned yoga and meditation practices in its public schools amid complaints that counselors were harming children with psychotherapeutic techniques. Oh, they better One not. mother in Birmingham. I thought they were going to say it was like satanic or something. That was about the time that Mothers Against yeah. Drunk Driving were trying to cancel magic cards. And was 
concerned that a Your greatest battle tape that her child brought home made one boy visibly high. <laughs> well, anybody who knows who does yoga knows he may have just been very relaxed. And that Alabama rule has been on the books for the past 27 years. And there are still groups who are afraid of allowing yoga in Alabama schools. <laughs> yeah. I remember Vigilant Christian Mario used to tell us that uh, yoga was satanic. But wait, wait a second. That that right there is that is that yoga? It is. Huh. It is. The more I oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Billy, did you the think they're talking about yogurt? Even with strawberries. Realize that you can't separate the exercises from the religious meditation aspect of it. This is Hinduism. Straight oh, up. Someone's still <laughs> arguing against it in 2020. I love it. <laughs> I like how he's talking about Hinduism like it's this evil religion. Yeah, he's dressed like he's cosplaying Tucker Carlson's Crossfire days. Yep. Yeah. Did yeah. he have the bow tie? Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah. This is Hinduism. I mean, I mean, there's yoga classes all over the country, and the the religious aspect of it is almost non-existent. I mean, it's it, it can be used just for exercise and relaxation. Yeah. Straight up. Instructors will be able to come into classrooms as young as kindergarten and bring these child through these children through guided imagery, which is a spiritual exercise and it's outside of their parents' view. Outside of your parents' mm. view. Imagine Connected thinking imagery. of things. Yes. We don't want our children feeling like they don't have anxiety. They don't have any grief to deal right. with. They, we want them to be wound up so they come to church every day and confess what a piece of shit they are, were, and always will be. That's, a, the, that's the We Lord's want way. them to repress everything deep down so it gives them cancer. Despite mm. almost three decades of pushback, yesterday Alabama Governor Kay Ivey signed a bill that lifted the ban on yoga in schools. But with specific guidelines, like prohibiting the use of the word namaste, which is very odd. Of course. Joining me now is Alabama State Representative Jeremy Gray, who fought for that legislation and who, I should add, is also a former yoga instructor himself. No way. Thank you so much for being here on a Friday night. Oh, thank you for having me today. She, she pointed out that he was there on a Friday night because she wants to like let him know they're officially on a date. She's like, you come on my news segment on Friday night. We're dating. We're on a date. That's You're a my date. boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> she just made all, him her boyfriend. Look at these satanic rituals they're performing with these children. It's awful. It's just oh awful. Oh, my God. Disgusting. Havu vore namaste. Murder was children. That? Yeah, oh. it was the Grinch. The beginning of that sounded like the Grinch who stole nope, Christmas. That yeah. was that was a, a him. Um, that sounded like it. That sounded like it was from Whoville. It was a Gregorian chant. Virgin Galactic. I, when I was living in New Mexico, they. Oh, built... that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> when I was living in New Mexico, uh, they built the Spaceport America in in southern New Mexico. It's still there. I don't know if they've ever done an official civilian space flight yet, but they're trying to. And Virgin Galactic is one of the main, uh, I guess, space airlines. Virgin that. Galactic, planetary, planetary, three, Virgin, two, three, Virgin they, Galactic. <laughs> they use they use a uh, a different aircraft to get the the spacecraft up high enough, and then it abandons this like the white part that aircraft and just like shoots into space. One, there. Release, release, release. I've been trying yeah. to abandon the white part for years. Fire. Fire. It's crazy. I will say it is a cool looking spaceship. It is cool looking. Yeah. Something so yeah, sexy has Virgin, Virgin written on the side. It's You're not fair. Again. Well, you know, it's owned by Richard Branson, who is, of course, a virgin. That man has never Absolutely. been late. I mean, look at his stupid hair. <laughs> Increase in pitch. Wow, look at that view. Gorgeous. Pitch set. I think the astronaut flying this might be fat. 
It's heavy breathing. He's got fat voice. He got heavy fat voice. Copy, Southern fully deployed, point Charlie complete. I guess they, they started Virgin Galactic cool. just to prove the world yep. was flat. I think it costs yeah. like a quarter that was of a the million initial dollars intent. to uh, to go on a flight. Once they start doing it, they already have like a waiting list. And it's about a quarter of a million just to go up and float around for a little while, then come back. Are they going to have like a lunch option? I don't think you can have lunch. There's no gravity. Astronauts eat. It seems like there should right. be a lunch. They yeah. eat. They eat, but it's in a controlled environment, and it's not normal food. Don't they pay like Do you 80? get astronaut ice cream, the food of the future? It's oh, all man. tang. You, can get you just drink tang the whole time. They pay like 80000 or or $100,000 to send up a piece of fruit to the astronauts. If they gave people food, it would literally just be like floating around everywhere. And like liquids in zero G are... You, it, they're like almost impossible to contain. The bathroom will have to have like a vacuum on it. The va like, the bathrooms on spaceship, uh, you space might have shuttles. You do a poopy pants when you. And go it up. just sucks all the poo poo or all the pee pee. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm trying to get a vacuum installed in my regular bathroom. I feel like I'm doing too much work as it stands. That spaceport. Isn't that crazy? I want someone to take the load. Oh. It, isn't it crazy that there's literally a spaceport out in the middle of nowhere in the desert and it looks all futuristic yeah. and like what? When did you say that was built? Um, probably I would say 2009. Yeah, it looks futuristic. Hmm. Twelve years. Sure. Ago. Now it looks. Now it so looks regular. Regular. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. There's been a chorus of condemnation across Europe tonight after a Ryanair plane flying from Greece to Lithuania was diverted to Minsk in Belarus and a dissident Belarusian journalist on board was detained. State media Belarusian in Belarus. Yeah. Journalist on yeah. Board. So some guy who's an enemy of the government of Belarus was traveling from Lithuania to Greece and their plane got diverted over uh, Belarusian airspace. And they, like, arrested this guy. And Belarus used to be part of the Soviet Union. I didn't realize that it's basically a Putin puppet state. Huh. It's very, like... Okay, I was going to ask, like, what, like, where does Belarus stand? Are they pro-Putin or... I would say yes. But I guess they are, yeah. Said the plane was forced to land because of a bomb scare. Here, the foreign secretary said the outlandish actions would have serious implications. Our diplomatic correspondent James Landale has the story. This is not where flight FR4978 was supposed to be this afternoon, on the ground at Minsk airport. The Ryanair flight, with about 170 people on board, left Athens this morning bound for Vilnius. But just Okay, from Greece to Lithuania, somehow uh, the, the government of Belarus knew that this guy was on that plane, so they pulled it over, essentially. <laughs> Sir, pull over. Pull over! Sir. Sir, <laughs> they were almost there, though, man. Just before the aircraft, I was going to say they almost made it to the damn border. Yep. Airspace, Look at that. It's suddenly headed east. According to Ryanair, the crew were warned of a potential did a U -turn. security threat and ordered to so land. What's the damn mid. rainbow mean when it turned off? It was purple all the way up, and then I it think turned that means, rainbow. I think that means it altered its course. I don't know. Altitude for good measure. Oh yeah, yeah, it might be altitude. Uh -huh. Warplane armed to the teeth was dispatched to escort the aircraft in. Oh, damn. But no bombs were found on board. Instead, this man was taken oh, off cute. the plane and arrested. <laughs> Roman Protasevich is a well-known Belarusian. He's probably being tortured. He's an opposition journalist. Oh, yeah. He's wanted by the authorities <laughs> He's on the brink of death right protests now. protests last year. He looks like According a twinkle version of Elon Musk. The Belarus State News mm -hmm. Agency. The operation was ordered personally by the country's authoritarian president, Alexander Lukashenko, who's faced growing opposition since Man, that's a election. real cool thing. When you're able to clap using the butt of your gun, that's right? cool as hell. Last year. We gotta get guns. Yeah, Belarus the only problem with that is if people had guns at my shows and they went to applaud, like if I told a really bad joke, one of them would probably try and shoot me. Exiled yeah. opposition leader said Mr. Protasevich's life so. was in danger. 
Today, Speak Lukashenko English. personally caused an international scandal. He used right? military aircraft yeah. against no. civilians of Belarus and European countries to arrest a single person. No one else is safe. Anyone can be in Roman Protasevich's place. After several oh hours boy. on the ground, hey everybody the plane watching right now, like this stream. Jeez, come on! Everyone, please like the stream. Uh, and also, for those of you who got a couple bucks to spare, we're trying to reach fifty percent of our goal during this stream. We're almost twenty-five percent of the way there. Um, I guess I, you know what? I'll put a zap on the table. The 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 uh -oh. the, the the bong hit zap. So that means I I I take a hit. I hold it in. I zap myself and then I blow it out. Yes. That's if we leap. if we hit fifty percent. If we hit fifty percent of the goal. Even arrived this evening in Vilnius as outrage spread across Europe, with several countries accusing Belarus of an act of state terrorism. In a tweet, the Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab said he was coordinating with allies and warned this outlandish action by Lukashenko will have serious implications. At Vilnius Airport, supporters of Mr. Protasevich waited in vain for his arrival as they contemplated just how far President Lukashenko will go to suppress opposition. Tomorrow, EU leaders will meet to discuss what price he should pay. James Landale, BBC News. Wow, it's fucking crazy. I don't know what else you can yeah. really even say about it. It's, it's Maybe it'll start World War Three. <laughs> then there's so many things that probably could have kicked off World War Three recently. We have uh, the, the the Israel Palestine conflict, the yeah. John Cena China conflict. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, <laughs> they, so funny. Experts have been saying that China and Taiwan are closer to war than ever before. So. I ran. What if John Cena caused it? <laughs> I know, right? He's awful. I've been saying forever he's, he's awful. He's a sweet boy. No, he's not. Yep. John Cena is one of the greatest human beings alive today. I'll just put that out there. That seems bold. I I think that it's true, though. I could be wrong, but I think that... Based might... on what? Based on the fact that other people are critical of John Cena and Billy always has to got go it. against what other people no, got. He's got yes. one of the most superior intellects. He's a kind, generous human being. He's a meathead. What are you talking what do you about? What mean a meathead? He's a genius. He's a genius. His IQ, no. his IQ is one of the highest recorded IQs amongst celebrities. That's not true. That's not true. It's true. That, that's not true. That's literally Dolph not Lundgren. True. He's he's up there with Dolph Lundgren. No, he is not. He's up there. You're just making no, shit up. I mean, no, he's not. I didn't make this up. It's Look, out there on the in recorded hit like John Cena started as a bodybuilder there. Look, I'm not going to win any friends here, but also I don't care. There has never been a smart bodybuilder in the history of the world. The end. John Cena didn't start as a bodybuilder. He started. John Cena doesn't care about black people. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it is either. Did, I he, ever to do squash, did he ever squash <laughs> anybody like Triple H did Booker T? He squashed No R one ever squashed anybody like Triple H did to Booker he T. He squashed our truth at Capital Punishment. Did he got Capital Punishment 2011 in Washington, yep. D.C. Yep. yep. Was it a Shit. squash? Oh, I yeah. Almost no offense well, from our truth. That's what they get for putting our truth in the world title match. Ron Killings, former NWA champion. Anyway, we'll move on. Little Jimmy. Uh, Here's uh Legit. yeah that was during that gimmick too that was one of the worst gimmicks ever. I thought it was great. He didn't of course come out you did. Smoking? No surprise. Did he, did he start smoking because he was a heel so he could smoke? Yeah, he smoked. Biden it was cool. mocks Republicans for promoting recovery plan they voted against. Let's Even my see. Republican friends in Congress, not a single one of them voted for the rescue plan. I'm not going to embarrass any one of them, but I have here a list. <laughs> Of how back in their dick sticks they're bragging dick, about. Dick sticks? Back, back in, in their, their dick, dick sticks? sticks? I like oh, how I... he pulled out a fucking menu. This is savage, Biden. I was going to say, are those the specials of the day? <laughs> yeah. He said dick sticks. Let's see. Of how back in their dick sticks they're bragging about the rescue plan. They touted the, re the restaurant revitalization fund. 
So it they is touted the fact that we're in a situation where they dealing with touted grants to community health care centers. Touted. I mean, Oops. some people have no shame. <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm happy they know that it benefited their constituents. That's okay with me. But if you're going to try to take credit for what you've done, well, you got to take don't credit get in the way of what Sean we still Michaels. need to do. And now we're faced with a question. What kind of economy are we going to build for tomorrow? <sighs> He's so boring. He's so boring. I don't know. But isn't it nice to have a boring president? It is. It, isn't it, it a breath of fresh air? It's it's nice as a citizen of the country to have a boring president. Not so much uh, for content for this show, but no, I no, and and also for me as a spectator of America, <clears throat> either. But it does seem right. like if I live there, it'd be nice to have this for a bit. Yes, it's true. It's now, true. if we focused on his son, that guy is not boring. He loves that, that guy. Off crack horse. rocks. Independent experts. Were we talking about both. Our economy would grow. His two sons were Bo and Hunter. Bo Hunter. Three to four percent. Pretty cool. Pretty in the cool. Year 2021. Yeah. And their middle names are actually and now uh, projecting Bo that growth ass will be and 6%. Hunter Eater are higher. So they're in ass eater. The fastest growth in this country in 40 years. <clears throat> to sum it up, COVID cases are down. COVID deaths are down. Unemployment filings are down. Let's see Hunger is down. Vaccinations are up, jobs are up, growth is up. People gaining health coverage is up. Small business confidence is up. Speeding him up helped a lot. Put it simply. Yeah. America's coming back. America's on the move. Yay, America on the move. Yeah, America's coming back. To where, who knows, but it is moving. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to come back when you hit a low like like we did. Uh, you know, the, the vaccine helped out tremendously. Um. Oh, I did want to announce what's going on tomorrow at Actual Mania for those of you who want to sign up. There's a link in the description. It's patreon.com slash DP. You can sign up. $5 or more gets you in. Uh, we're doing it tomorrow. Like around around 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow we'll be doing it. Um, main events and, and undercard... Uh, the, the opening match of the night is Marjorie Taylor Greene, the representative from Georgia, versus a mystery MTG. A mystery opponent. This might be a loser leaves town match. I don't know. She's yeah. talking about kicking her out, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trumpster Bob versus Nico Cotto Avocado Butthole Challenge. Ew. Nico Cotto Avocado is finally got a butthole out there to, to look at if you guys are interested. It's uh, it's available. Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul in an actual Mania match. It's kind of a warm up for their actual boxing match in a few weeks here. Nice. So like Floyd uh, beating a woman and not knowing how to read, and just Logan Paul being generally disgusting. Yes. Maybe we don't know. Nice. The tag team championships: the Trolley Hinnity, which is uh, Speck and Lord Magicus versus. Taint likely, which is Egghead and his buddy Jeffrey. They'll, Jeffrey. They'll be going head to head for the tag team championship. Cringer weight championship. Kalo. Was it Kalo that won or was it the creator that won? Kalo right? won. Okay. Kalo versus Asterios Coconos for the Cringer weight championship. <laughs> yep. You yep. know, Asterios went through the adamantium phase. The adamantium of cringe. It's going to be pretty strong. I'm looking forward to it. And then uh, for the world championship, Betty the Fridge, the defending champion against Shani for Christ, the newly oh. uh, hold the on. Newly How champion. can someone fight themselves, Ben? Good question. You know, I just saw someone in the chat. Tune in tomorrow. I just saw someone in the chat say that Floyd Mayweather is going to take a dive for money. Do you realize Floyd Mayweather, his his undefeated record is worth more to him than any amount of money, and he's getting, he'll get paid way more to win than anyone that could possibly pay him to lose. But he's not going to take a yeah. dive for no. Logan Paul. He's going to no. take a dive no. for Jake Paul, and he's going to take yeah, exactly. 15% of Jake Paul's career in the future. Lo Jake Paul is not a better fighter than Logan Paul. 
You don't think so? No. But they they could after they both get their asses kicked by Floyd Mayweather, they could they should do a match against each other. I'd be interested to see that. Doesn't really matter who the better fighter is. People want to see Jake Paul get knocked out he will. more. Uh, then they want to see Logan Paul get knocked out. Yeah, because Logan Paul's uh, uh, more likable, and he's he's a better athlete. He's bigger too. I I mean, he's bigger. Yeah. Which one's the Suicide Forest guy? Was that Logan? That was, that was Logan. Yeah, that was Logan. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, Trump under uh, criminal investigation. Here's a little bit on that. The grand jury is progressing and witnesses are getting ready to testify in the Trump Organization criminal probe. And now the ex-daughter-in-law, the former president's longtime CFO, Alan Weisselberg, Jennifer Weisselberg, had this to say about her involvement in the case. Watch. Have you been summoned to testify before a grand jury or told to prepare for such testimony? I anticipate being contacted, but um, I have not as of yet. All right. Joining me now is MSNBC contributor, former U.S. attorney and senior FBI official Chuck Rosenberg. Chuck, great to have you back on the show. I don't think Nicole Bass is alive. Uh, The Manhattan District Attorney added a very much organized. So we've got a Weisselberg and we've got a Rosenberg so far. Who else can we throw in the mix? Prime prosecutor Mark F. Pomerantz to its investigation of Trump and his family business. Just as an outside observer, what does that suggest? This is why I think it's going to be hard for Trump to run again because he's going to be battling all this stuff. They couldn't get the impeachment to convict him so now they're going to use other means to kind of make sure he has a hard time trying to run again they said that congress the republicans in congress have shut down the proceedings to make a commission on the january 6th that's so dumb when they came on the Capitol, even though like they brought it brought up the commission in the first place and now they're shooting it down, is my understanding. I guess. Which is very like, funny. Yeah, we're going to put a commission together to show that there was no guilt. Like, well, you know, now that we've been looking into this commission. Hmm. Turns out a lot of guilt. <laughs> so maybe it, let's guys. not. Yeah, that's Oof. ridiculous. Um, when all the lawyers are out there on record saying that everybody was persuaded by the president to do that, and they're saying these are mentally ill people. They're saying yeah, that, when that's the that's the defense. <laughs> yeah, when the defense attorney of goddamn uh, what was his name, Yoga Sherpa, the 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 Maga Sherpa, whatever the stupid idiot was, they had the fucking fuzz on. His lawyers actually shaman. Yeah, shaman. They're calling. They're actually calling him and the people like him the R word. It's true. Highly regarded. That's I I that that guy's lawyer is my. F- favorite person like i want nothing more than to do crimes so he represents me yeah no uh scott Henson. yeah of course he broke in and stole all the pizza for the pizza factory but he was he him and people like him that love pizza they're they're regards they're highly regarded <laughs> all right but before we move on to oddities let's check out the stream labs i think we got a couple but uh we're, we're still kind of struggling. I wanted to remind everyone I, I will do a, a zap and a, and a weed if we can get to 50% before the end of this stream. So uh, link in the description for Streamlabs. Help us meet our goal. Throw us a two bucks, five bucks, whatever. Help us get Or $220.80. Yeah. The Locust God says, I wasted my fucking college years getting a degree in communications for screenwriting, graduated in 2019, and these student loan repayments are going to kill me when they start again. Yeah. I voted for Biden because he said he would cancel, but I got got jack. Yeah, so far, nothing. The Carb Cozy. I'm currently us- enjoying my Bachelor of Science in Biology. It's going well. I'm definitely <laughs> using it. Yeah. I'm currently enjoying not having gone to college and not spent a dime Respect. on anything uh, college related ever. Uh, the Carp Cozian uh, gave us that big love. And Andrew uh, Kular said, Scoot, listen to Cat People by Baby Cakes. Hmm. Cat People by Baby Cakes, you say. Well, yeah. time to investigate this. All right, now we're going to get into oddities. Here we go. And that's uh, all the Mondays we've been given today. Thank you guys for the love and support. Oh, and... uh, Cody disappeared. Cody disappeared. Cody disappeared. 
Mm, disappear. Mm. They're making a, uh, a new Willy Wonka. Yeah, I saw that. And Timothy Chalamet is going to play Willy Wonka. I hate the way you say Willy Wonka. Why? I, I don't know. You might be a hater. Why? I'm saying it normal. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here's another. Uh, it's, uh, it won't be worse than the Johnny Depp one, so that's a plus. Yeah, the, I think the director tied to this was a good director. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head. I remember, I remember seeing like all the 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 setup, all the production for this Willy Wonka. It looks like they're catering towards the critics, like you know they're they're going to try and make a happy little baby film. Uh, here's some of that great. Cobra animation stuff that's usually pretty good. Let's check it out. I'd make my clock towered mansion solar powered so it'd be easy and cheap as fuck on electricity. The most I would be paying would be <laughs> property tax. <laughs> Have like 20 acres of land and like a spooky little forest surrounding it. You see his tattoo on the fucking steeple? Yeah, yeah. This is great. <laughs> I'd have a security gate where you have to like punch in a code to unlock it. Or a buzzer, or like, eh. and then I have like an intercom TV system at the front door. Like, who is it? Push the button. Oh, hey, it's my homeboy Scotty. What up, man? What? Oh, <laughs> it's my homeboy Scotty. Eh. Push the button. Me? Shh. Gates open up. <laughs> yep. Dude, like, the, there's no reason why Cobe shouldn't have that. Like, like. No, let let's get that for him. If there are people out there making these cartoons, making these little videos, Cobes is a certified superstar. Should have 18 wives and a goddamn Cobes castle to live in. Uh, this should somebody's Biden fuck canceling student debt. Send all the yeah. money to Cobes for Cobes Oof. Castle. Uh, so I guess Lori McBride uh somehow uploaded a satanic windows update onto gail's computer oh, so great yeah. this stupid computer i did automatic updates on me i had to reach i was trying to restart it to see if i could fix my camera and it did automatic updates on me oh no nah, don't do this oh no we couldn't complete the updates getting ready to retry don't turn off your computer oh why did it do the updates I thought that guy's Mike Roderick's thing worked. Satan found a way to outsmart my block on his updates. Fucking and Satan. that explains why I was having problems with my Logitech webcam. Well, I'm stuck. I can't do anything Get right now. Get the brand in there. Oh, no. Don't do this. Don't do this. You don't need to retry. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can tell she's trying to act like she's more upset than she actually is. She's like, you don't need to retry. No! I had to, it did, it was doing, restarting the computer, and then I had to do the F8 trick and all that stuff, like, oh my God. No, don't retry. I don't want your stupid updates. God, Satan managed to push this through somehow. He overcame my blockade. Yeah, you see, Satan or Bill Gates? Gail's computers are voice activated, just like on Star Trek. Of course. She's like, no, it. don't try. Computer. Boy, this is taken forever. I hate, wi I hate Windows. I want my Linux Ubuntu computer right now. Somebody get her her Linux Ubuntu computer. Was that a, yeah. a boxing match? Linux versus Ubuntu? Yeah, 1994. It's a good match. Hey, yeah. Google. Hi, Siri. Alexa. All right. How many of, of your guys' stuff did I just trigger? How many How many of you losers leave that shit on? <laughs> Hi, Bixby. That's another one. That's Samsung's one. Bixby? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Samsung. Uh, this is disgusting. Here we go again. Uh, every time it, it restarts the computer, my computer freezes on the Windows icon. Here we go again. I really don't like this. I already know what's going to happen unless a miracle happens. Jesus, protect my Hello, computer. Jesus. Satan outsmarted the blockade on, I had Jesus. on this Jesus. computer. At least we're making it to 30. Usually it starts, re it doesn't restart by this time. You got this, baby. Protect my uh, computer, we're, we're Jesus, until I get my Linux Ubuntu. 
a button. <laughs> Don't let Sage oh, win on my computer. He, he, he somehow made it so my Can Logitech she webcam. Can use Linux? That would be hilarious. Is she capable of using Linux? She that that, that seems Linux advanced. Bluetooth. Doesn't Gales, work. Gail's got oh, a here we go. Space here we go. She could use Ubuntu. Restart. Yeah, let's see what happens. Sure. <laughs> With a camcorder, I, I love it. See my reflection. It's a black screen, though. It's a black screen. Let's go this way. It doesn't matter. It's so shiny. All you see is there's the Windows icon. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This is what happens every time. It gets stuck on the Windows icon. We need Zach Knight to call Geek Squad for Gale. Oh, I don't want it to do restart. Uh, let me just leave it here for a while. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's doing anything, though. That's my favorite way it's to fix a computer. It's just stuck on the Windows icon. Let's try F8. 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 F9 with John F8. Cena. F10. How about F U with John F9. Cena? Nine. Ooh, do huh. do do do. Yeah, it's just stuck on the Windows Windows icon. Okay, let's just hold it for one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand. What is? Let is go. she doing a spell? I think she's singing the song <laughs> from Rent. <laughs> It says monitor going to sleep. 1,000, 2,000, <laughs> 3,000, 4,000. I mean, what can I do? 5, it's not 000, doing 6, anything. 5,000, 6,000, okay. 7,000, 8. <laughs> 1,000, 2,000. F8, 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 F8. Why, are you, why is she doing F8? It's the I F8 trick. I don't want it to do... I don't want Please. to... Please... I didn't want the Windows update, so that's why I've been having problems. I need to go and figure out why I didn't block the Windows updates. Yeah, oh, you no, need to figure that one out, Gail. You need Windows to figure out how to again. get all the dust out of your computer, which is clearly the problem. I like that she's filming this with an actual fucking camcorder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love know, it. I what, are we, know what do we got? Like a anymore. Sony Vizia? What are we yeah. dealing Jeez. with here? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 1,000, 2,000. Normally, normally you say 1,000 between the numbers. 1, 1,000, 1, 2, 1,000. But I, I like her little uh, twist on a classic. Yeah. Gail don't give a fun. She's a trailblazer. Can we see her address on any of this? boot menu. Let's keep F a keen I'm eye out. Preparing automatic yes. repair. Yeah, I, I don't like the Windows updates. A keen eye. This is what happens button. every time. Oh God. I am proud of Gail. There's not any like massive deal those back there on the reflection on the shelf. She's not a pervert. Oh, you know what? I think she. She might. Did we do it? She Did might the have. F8 trick work? You know it. I skipped ahead several minutes. Yeah. I think it might be broken this time. The F8, tr F8 trick always works. Yeah, it's a. Uh, here's what it's doing. Undoing I, this is a. This is a pain in the butt. Don't you dare do the updates! I don't want the updates. Do you want the here's updates? Here's what it says it's doing That's now. Yeah. Well, this is weird. I was able to. Um, and try to figure out why it did updates. It looks like I'm able to get back in. I'm really mad at Windows right now. <laughs> well, this Tell is weird. Password. I was oh. able to... Um, I'm supposedly getting into the computer. Now I'm getting a black screen. <laughs> that is really nice. So I was able to log on, and now I'm getting a black screen. Though I'm hearing something going on. I've been getting a lot of black screens lately. Maybe I just... I mean, one of the apps, look yep. at they're, they're all like little... It's like the computer is... It's really weird. Look at this. You see this? 
It's like there's some sort of this ghost in the machine. This computer's behaving really weird. Huh? I'm, I'm thinking I might put in that new disc that I got from my friend. Put in that new disc. I'm gonna I put in that new like disc. I do not like the way this computer's behaving. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, uh, Scott, I don't know if you heard this, but Trump's or Bob was trying to send money via Western Union to his girlfriend in Nigeria. I've heard talk of Nigerian girlfriend, but I, I don't have the details. I haven't seen anything. Uh, I love everything that I'm hearing so far. I'm a fan of it. I support it. She's the reason that he dyed his hair. You think so? That's what I heard. Yeah, someone told me. But it's not a real person, right? It's like a scam artist, right? I, I'm sure. I, I, I never associate any sort of scam with Nigeria. I don't know never, what you're talking never. about. Yeah. Um. Here's a little bit of crazy lokes. Uh, yeah, much loves the fans. It don't stop, won't stop with the things. Yeah, no, straight up though. Lokes continue to push with all the fans. Fuck boys, continue to be in fear within my hands, in within fear my ability, and within in my fear body, here. with the things as it's in me with to dimes. kill y'all. Fans, Lokes gonna give y'all some shadow boxing. Y'all know, straight up though, you know, <laughs> saying for real stuff. You for know, real Lokes stuff. putting his hips this into is, uh, it with the things. This boxing method is called crouching seizures. With the things, yeah. y'all know, with the for real stuff. His legs into it, wooden things, you know what I'm saying? His chest into it, wooden things, his heart into it, wooden things, really wanting to destroy them, wooden things, catching them on their mistakes, even though, you know what I'm saying? I'm being offensive, wooden things, yeah, no, for real. Oh, sorry, so, this you know, is the shadow box. I thought he was like no. warming up to it, but no, this, this is it. it. Yeah, okay. This is it. Carry yeah. on. With the that. Going with those heavy punches, wooden thangs. He hasn't thrown one punch. Yeah, no. Not a one. Or he's going so fast. Stop, That's why I thought he was like harnessing his chi to like start punching. It, uh, but this yeah, is the no. punching. He's his punch, put his whole body into it with them things. His punches. He's stirring. His punches are so fast, you we, we can't even see them. For oh, reals. you can't detect them with the naked eye. So knowing I push with all the fans for life with them things. Come with on, them things. Looks knocking y'all out with those one hitter. Who's got more fans? Crazy yeah, those for, for King Cobes. So, you know what I'm saying? Now going with those snappy I don't know. punches. That's a good question. Again, with them things. Probably Cobes. On your mistakes. Wooden thanks, putting with my thanks. whole body into it. Wooden thanks, yeah, no, for real, yeah, no, for real, so as far as possible. Wooden thanks, you know what I'm saying? For real, still, you know, see now you're going up with pressure, knocking y'all out. Wooden thanks with those one hitter quitter, putting his whole body into it. Who went in the fight? Now Crazy Lokes with them thanks, or Kevin Joe's King with them cakes? Thangs Ooh. versus cakes? Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Well, KJK's got size, but I don't know about mobility. Mobility's on KJK, I think, but I don't know. Because we never actually seen Crazy Lokes fuck anybody up. No. I have I have yet to see him <laughs> throw a punch, so it's he's, hard to tell. He's with them things, but I don't know if them things he's with. Can back up the the, the money. The snappy again. Yeah. What and thanks? You know, see now killing the world. What and knock out? What and thanks? As the lows don't stop, won't stop. The lows don't Push stop, won't stop. Fast. For life, they can't hit the lows on the bottom. Yeah, much love to the fans. It don't stop, won't stop. Lows push with all the fans. Fans take the to Hollywood as he never gonna stop. Fuck boys, continue to be uh. in fear. Yeah, no, for yeah. real stuff. For reals, though. Fuck boys continue to be in so, fear. You know, for reals, though. Here's my theory about him. Off camera, he's a hundred percent normal, but kind of on the shy side. And then his <laughs> mom suggested, "Hey, why don't you like make some videos for the internet to like get over your shyness?" So you don't, you're not, you don't have to do it like with people, but like you make them and then put them up there, and then people will say, "Hey, nice videos." But he gets so nervous making the videos 
this is what happens. But he just keeps doing it because he's like, no, I, I have to get over it. He's so nervous that he forgets to throw a punch when he's yeah. with him. Thanks. I like That's my think, crazy low head cannon. I like to think that when the camera's on, he doesn't throw a punch with them thanks because then that could be used as evidence in court when he uses them thanks. And so mm-hmm. camera goes off, and yeah, he's shy, he's mild-mannered, he's not like this at all, but them thanks come out. But he can throw down. Oh, yeah. When the camera's off, he goes in, I'm pretty sure. I yeah. want to show you guys a little bit of uh, Jamie Body Mind, who's uh, one of the people from the Angelica Initiative, the, the younger one. Yeah. She does energy healings to horses. Oh, yeah. Sure. Macala, equine healing. And so today we're going to do a healing session to try and heal the root causes of that problem and whatever it represents in such a way as Why to get Birdie back. Why does everyone like this and in this world have this exact same voice and cadence? It's the way you got to talk to the horses. This breathy, uh, like big... Big eyes with nothing behind them. Scott, are you familiar? <laughs> like, are you familiar with the term horse whisperer? I am. Yeah, this is. I believe uh, Robert Redford was one. This is horse whispering. Twenty. Okay. Today is Birdie's first healing session. She and gets today paid to do this we're shit. We're working to heal the root causes of a pattern of tension during work times, of disconnecting emotionally from the rider, of feeling panicked, sometimes even not breathing, stopping breathing during the work times. And whatever that symptom represents in such a way as to align Birdie with align her destiny, Birdie with her with soul her plan. Des- with the Billy, what's going on with your left born hand? To what? Live. I'm jerking off the horse dick and then now Birdie, the horse the first thing for you to remember and always the most important thing for you to remember is that the presences who are speaking to you in this healing session today are for the most part your own guardian angels those really big guys upstairs who know you and love you better than anybody else in the whole world who are the big guys upstairs? we only just met we know each other very little Upstairs, uh, Manny, Mo, and present. Jack. The they only boys. they only just met, but that horse has already been inside of her. She works fast. Yeah. One time I was watching one, and the horse bit her. And if we're able to reach nice. them, those guardian angels who are this responsible horse just really doesn't seem to give a shit. for the jumper horses of North America, those competitive jumper horses jumper that horses we work with, North and America. asking if they're willing to send a river of higher vibration healing energy mm-hmm. in through mm-hmm. the front of that heart through chakra, heart expanding ch- that heart chakra all Is anything weird the- happening in this? I mean, it is weird. This entire thing is weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, so far right now, it's just her. And then the horse lays down. Oh, I bet, I bet she takes, does she take credit for the horse lying the down? Horse like, What's she might, on? yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm gonna pet it's all horse. weird, but it's like, very calm weirdness. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I should yeah, play. I feel like something extremely traumatic happened to her and all the people like her. And just like the rest of their life is, is spent on healing in this dumb way. Um, I do have two promos from the uh, competitors, the, the challengers oh. Oh. of the tag team championship match tomorrow. Oh, so I'm going to make this short, sweet, to the point as best as I Show can. Show Jeffrey! My voice is gone. And Why is your voice gone, Eggie? Because I'm battling fucking allergies right now, which is fucking ironic. COVID couldn't take me out, but allergies could. Yeah, I could see that. Hey, as long as something does. <laughs> Did you get mania. COVID? <laughs> Tomorrow, my tag team partner, Jeffrey, and I, the team of Tate Likely, <laughs> is going to be going up against Spec and Magicus <laughs> for the World Tag Team Championships. All I gotta say is this. To you, Spec, I've already defeated you once. It's not gonna be that hard to beat you again. Magic us, you're in the same boat. Jeffrey and I, we have perfect chemistry with each other. <laughs> We're lovers. I think so. We went from horse whisperer to horse whisperer. Mm. You've seen pretty much all that we have. Very combined. nice. You guys are going down. I have not seen a single clip or video 
of you two together or anything like that. All you did last time was just hack into Cobra's live stream. That's all you did. It was a pretty sick hack. Good hack. Whatever you guys have in mind, whatever you guys have in store for us tomorrow, it will not be enough. Those titles will belong to us by the end of the night. Yeah, and, I, when, and when the dust settles, and when everything is over with, you will be looking at the new tag team champions. You know what, Egghead? You should keep your voice this way. This is way less crazy. This is a cooler voice. Yeah. You sound like a nurse is about to walk in, give you a cup of pudding, and put a thermometer up your asshole. <laughs> the team of Egghead and Jeffrey. The team of Taint likely believe that. <laughs> Oh, and here's uh, here's Jeffrey. What do you got to say? I got well, what? Like, <laughs> uh, not much. I mean, like hey, these two, like troll masters, whatever you want to call them. I don't even remember their fucking names because I don't even like <laughs> feel like why even bother. Whenever we clearly have this in the fucking bag, ain't that right, Egghead? Damn freaking right. <laughs> Damn fucking right. Oh, you, your voice these went bad. Like little upstarts, whatever you want to fucking call them, thinking they can take the championship title belt away from us. Tay likely, motherfuckers. What are their names again? You go ahead and say their names. So their names, names are Spec and Lord Magicus. Yeah, so they better watch their backs that when come to actual media, they just don't know the greatness that is me. And the cringiness that is Egghead. I mean, you're alright. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, we, we, we have, 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 we I live in your shadow. You know how it goes. I'm sorry. I live in your shadow. Yeah. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah. Are they I'm already saying, teasing you know, the breakup? I, I, right. I, I thought you knew this. I'm this is like the breakup arc of like every tag team. They break up all the time, though. It's the makeup sex that keeps sorry them together. Sorry to have to, True. you know, bring this revelation to you, Egghead, but you know. Oh, but I as see. respect to you as my tag team partner, I'll let you share in my glory. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. Well, well yeah, whatever the hell yeah, may be. Is, I know, I'm very, I'm how, it's very generous of me, I realize. Exactly. Well, whatever the hell happens on this I Friday, like how we're Egg going to. in a submissive Dom relationship with Jeffrey. He is. Absolutely. It's yeah. cute. Jeffrey oh, is daddy. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. You mean when we win? Oh, damn right. When we do win, we are yeah. going to get Damn right, daddy, daddy like, Jeff. Damn right. Whatever happens, fuck that shit. When we fucking win, they're done. There's nothing they can do. Wow. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. I like their dynamic. So this is a video that Spec made about Egghead and Jeffrey a long time ago, but I love it. Yes, Commissioner. Dianus, Batman. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this Yoda? Is this little guy right here Yoda? Because I know this is Luke right here, but is this Yoda? It has to be Yoda. There they are. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yeah, that mm, that met made me squeal. That made me squeal like a little piggy. Wee! <laughs> Yep. That made him squeal like a, like a piggy. Wee! Wee. Excellent. Excellent. It was. Scott, if John Cena isn't one of the smartest people in the world, oh who's smarter God. than John Cena? I'm smarter than John Cena. That's one person. What else you got? Daniel Bryan smarter than John Cena? Maybe. Yeah, Mick Foley smarter than so John much, Cena. So much smarter. Maybe. Mick Foley, Mick uh, Foley with the brain damage is smarter than John Cena. Yep. Uh, both Briscoe brothers, especially Mark, even though he seems like the crazier one. Hmm. Nigel Mick Guinness. You're such a Mark. Ah, uh, right. Egg is so what Drake, do they think of Jeffrey's Drake first promo? Younger, no, noted cool guy Drake Younger. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right, we're going to go into antagonism. Here it goes. Wow. Wow. I can turn off a goddamn 
don't don't touch me. Look, don't touch me. Team yeah, they're they're gonna gonna touch me. They're gonna touch me. Okay. Do we have that uh, Nicholas Fuentes here in the antagonism? I do, yeah. Ooh. Lil Nicky F? Little yeah, Booger Nick? Booger Nick. I guess I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll play that after this, this next one here. On another note, for those of you who do watch this particular live stream, I am fixing to dye my beard. Oh. So get ready for a different look on me. And, uh, Everybody out there, thanks for uh, supporting my channel, watching all my videos. He dyed his hair, got a haircut been... for his Nigerian princess. I I love this story arc. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, he's gonna dye his beard. What, what's it gonna be about uh, a month from now? He's gonna be wearing a suit, driving around in a Jaguar. <laughs> all it took was his Nigerian princess. Yep. Watching and following. Uh, my channels over here, this channel, my other three channels. Um, I really appreciate you. Really do. Here's to you. Here's to you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I can see some memes and pictures coming out of this this video. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is he going to look like Phil Collins? That's okay. Them things never bother me none. <laughs> I can feel it running down the beard tonight. I was what hoping he'd go like trying to look black. young for a new girlfriend. Top, yep. Well, I'm happy all natural, but she wanted to see what I look like with a. Uh, this might not be like a Nigerian scammer. This might be like a troll or something. That's oh no, getting... I I hope it's a troll. That's my yeah. That's my greatest wish. My beard. Dark brown, like my hair. I hope he found love. Color in in Nigeria. So a, yeah, I guess with you could a say woman, I am doing it for my girlfriend. Billy, with a Simone Biles looking would, princess. You know, she asked me to dye it blonde. I dye it blonde. I don't care. Just keep it this way, the way you looked right now. She asked me to dye it right. blonde. I dye it blonde. I don't care. Yeah, hey, kind of a Rudy what, Giuliani vibe going on right now. Here's like what I'll, here's what I'll do for a woman if she asks me to do something. Uh, n not not dye my hair. Uh, not. Uh, um, I'll. Yeah, I won't do anything what for are a you, woman. Will you do? Will you do one thing? <laughs> I won't do one thing. I couldn't think of one thing I would do for a woman if she asked me. He's over here you sipping tried. on some hair dye. The mohawk. There you go. <laughs> that is your truly for the day. psychotic. Oh yeah. God, Bob isn't there. Drops of now he's drinking a beer through a straw. Hair dye all over your lap <laughs> and floor now. That was dang. <laughs> no, no, I ain't dropping nothing nowhere, man. I do it while I'm here. I got a towel behind me and I'm dying my hair like that. There ain't no chance of it going anywhere. So I didn't drop any. My hair was gray. I dyed it. It's Spexo. Wow. Oh, my God. He's Spexo. What a look. I dyed it brown. Actually, I dyed it gray. It's always been brown. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. No, it was gray. Yeah, it was. I dyed it. You like this? You like this look? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Is that pretty cool, Trumpster Bob? Can everyone hear me? Yes, everyone can hear you, but they can't see you. They don't know who you are. They're not going to. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, you look you look amazing. Like, I love your new look. So this is, the, this is his girlfriend. Yeah, I like how this they the literally girlfriend. have the scammer phone ringing in the background <laughs> yep. of her office where she's scamming <laughs> out of. This is fantastic. With, with 30 telephones. Yeah. Thank you, baby. I love you, too. Look at she that whiskey to, on the rocks. Is she her. had to mute because she took oh. the other call that was coming into the freaking warehouse she's scamming out of in Nigeria. I like that we're saying I love you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit distracted right now. The dogs are acting crazy. So um, The dogs are acting crazy as part of the script when she has to take another call. <laughs> I was going to say, do the dogs sound like other phones? Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, okay? Just wanted to let you know that you look really good. Like, I just wanted I to let you look. know. Oh, wait a minute. Before you go, 
I want you to tell everyone that you're the one that asked me to dye my hair, and I only dyed my hair because you asked me to. <laughs> See yeah, I asked you what to. else uh, you can make him do. You said you're going to do it for me, just for me. There you go. So thank you. You're welcome, darling. I love you, baby. Bye bye. You have any sisters? <laughs> You have any sisters? Those sisters. There you go. You heard it from her. She asked me to die, and I did it just for her. I like the text on the screen the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you were out, your guest said you were gay. <laughs> oh. Y'all thought I was lying. <laughs> That's the funny part of it. Did we it. think that you were lying? No. From step one, we thought you were stupid enough to get yeah, no, scammed we don't, by we a Nigerian don't think scammer. You're lying. We think you believe everything you're saying. Yeah, this is the one time where we think that you are honest. Yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, oh she sounds god. hot, Timothy says. She is hot, let me tell you. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's that clip. Is she hot, Trumpster Bob? He said, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. He's in love with a Nigerian phone scammer. Nope. They literally had one of the scam phones go off in the <laughs> background. Literally and then, another phone oh, rang. <laughs> and then she had to go because the dogs were acting up. The dogs. No. You're, this is great. I love so it. our featured story, though, is about farm subsidies, and this is an interesting article in the New York Times about how the same thing is now happening to farmers, but it's creating a lot of racial resentment now. So this is the New York Times. It says, quote, um, <clears throat> actually... Leave your comments in the in the comment section of your feelings on Nick Fuentes, because he's in the thumbnail... So it's almost a guarantee that his simps will come over in the next week or so and leave a bunch of dumb comments. Uh, they'll call us dysgenic and all that shit. Everyone, please like the stream and uh, leave your comments in the comments section. I think I think they find it a lot hard to call us dysgenic when I'm on the show. So I think I think we're going to be OK. Cut off a part of this. It's yeah, Mr. Lewis had just come. Cell weirdos think I look like. I'm uh, in from feeding his. I'm cat. actually very beautiful to my mom. Ow, and one sunny women. spring afternoon, when he opened a letter that could change his life, the government was offering to pay off his two hundred thousand dollar farm loan, part of a new debt relief program created by Democrats to help farmers who have endured generations of racial discrimination. It was a windfall for a 29-year-old who has spent the past decade scratching out a living as the only black farmer in his corner of northeastern Missouri, where signposts quoting Genesis line the soybean fields and traffic signals warn drivers to go slow because it is planting season. But the $4 billion fund has angered conservative white farmers who say they are being unfairly excluded because of their race. And it has plunged Mr. Lewis and other farmers of color into a new culture war over race, money, and power in American farming. It's There's going to be a, a, a farm race war. Hmm. I'm for it. By the way, it's a culture war. It's not a race war. Definitely has nothing to do with race. Mr. Lewis said, you can feel the tension. We've caught a lot of heat from the conservative Caucasian farmers. The debt relief is redress set aside for what the government calls socially disadvantaged farmers. Black, Hispanic, indigenous, and other non-white workers who have endured a long history of discrimination from violence and land theft in the Jim Crow South to banks and federal farm offices that refused them loans or government benefits that went to white farmers. The program is part of a broader effort by the Biden administration and Democrats in Congress to confront how racial injustice has shaped American farming, which is overwhelmingly white. Black farm advocacy groups say that nearly all the land, profit, and subsidies go to the biggest, most powerful farm operations, leaving black farmers with little. But in large portions of rural America, the payments threaten to further anger white conservative farmers. I've, you know, I've never seen Nick quite so bland before. He's reading. Is he, so he's gonna yeah get, he's, he's just gonna, re, he's he's yeah. showing off that he knows how yeah. to read. Oh, I'm uh, I'm all for angering white conservative farmers though. I think that is <laughs> that's never the wrong move. Never. Yeah, when when he's done reading, 
I'll actually just fast forward to the part where he's done reading. He, he, he's once he's done, he says, he says, uh, "Old Tyreek had a farm, e i e i o, but couldn't afford to sell his cabbages, so the government funded his." Propaganda from the <laughs> Jews, E I J U I J O. The plans of Dr- J U I J O. J U I J O. J U I J O. And that's Ron. basically what he said. Yeah. Thousands of enraged comments on farm forums and that are being good. fought by banks, worried about losing interest income. Jew-I-J-O. And some rural residents have rallied around a new slogan cribbed from the conservative response to the. That'd be a horrible nickname to have. Black Lives Matter movement. All farmers matter. Many farmers of color have welcomed the debt relief, which was tucked into the $1.9 trillion COVID Relief Act, as well as even more ambitious measures proposed by Democrats to grant plots of up to 160 acres of farmland to black farmers. The Agriculture Department has a long-standing series of programs to serve socially disadvantaged farmers and estimates that nearly 16,000 will have loans paid off that were made or backed by the government. The agency has sent thousands of letters to eligible farmers and expects that money could start flowing by early June. But rural residents upset with the repayments call them reverse racism. White conservative farmers and ranchers from Florida, Texas, and the Midwest quickly sued to block the program, just like with the restaurant. I don't like the term reverse racism. I think racism is just racism. I was going to say, that that implies that one kind of racism is is the regular kind right and then the other kind is reverse i think i i i appreciate racism in all its forms (laughs) i don't think one of them should be reverse relief he's like squeezing his thumbs think he's doing drugs think he's coming down off something right now arguing that the promised money amounts to illegal discrimination America First Legal is backing the Texas lawsuit, whose plaintiff is the state's agriculture commissioner. John Stevens, one of five Midwestern farmers who filed a lawsuit through the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, said it's anti-white. Since when does agriculture get into this kind of race politics? (laughs) Since when does agriculture get into this type of race politics? As far as I can remember, it's been old McDonald on his white farm hiring (laughs) Mexicans illegally to pick his fruit. That's how we liked it. E.I.G.I. Joe. (laughs) E.I.G.I. Joe. What the hell, man? Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack defended the debt repayment program at a White House briefing this month, saying that earlier coronavirus relief had gone disproportionately to white farmers. He also said government had never addressed the cumulative. So they're saying that relief went disproportionately to white farmers. So they're they're trying to give relief to even it up? Like, do we have... I, I imagine the, the see I don't even know I can't believe there was an actual thing that specifically said like we're giving it to non-white farmers and not white farmers I I feel like that would be tough to pass anywhere so I'm sure I I'm assuming this is some like weird slant on it that I, is like at best 10 percent probably true. yeah and the worst is we're getting him reading off the stupid article in the most Just boring reading way. we it's... get it you can read <laughs> yeah rub it God. in my face ass yeah show off all uh, right we got a dono here from uh, mr captain snacks i'm gonna read it right now since we're Do so it. light uh on donos and this is pertinent to the moment mr captain snacks says i quit the game i was playing so i could ask the sweet chat to type in the chat one to slap nick two to do it twice one in the chat to slap Nick, two to do it twice. But before you know, let you know, I'm really into getting the shit smacked out of me. I might catch a Nick Booger eating boner. That's true. So choose wisely. Yes. The facts of years of racial discrimination against farmers. He said, we know for a fact that socially disadvantaged producers were discriminated against by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, there is a very legitimate reason for what we're doing. The use of race in federal programs has been a subject of litigation for decades with a narrow majority of the Supreme Court deciding in 1995 
that it is permissible only if the programs are, quote, narrowly tailored to accomplish a, quote, compelling governmental interest. The courts have generally held that institutions have a compelling interest in remedying their own past discrimination. So in both the restaurant relief and the farm relief, the argument is this. It is not illegal to discriminate against white people because racism and disparities. And the Supreme Court upheld this discrimination in 1995 and has historically done so because they say that rectifying past discrimination is a compelling governmental interest which is permissible under the law. So all anti-white policy is permissible then. Because if all you have to do is say, well, you know, vague historical racism plus disparities, guess what? There will always be disparities because the races are unequal, okay? They're just different. And so you're always going to have unequal outcomes. You will never have equal outcomes. You don't have equal outcomes between individuals and you don't have equal outcomes between groups. So you will never have equal outcomes and we will never go far enough to say that we I have mean, sufficiently look at skull rectified shape. historical... I mean, you can't huh? say... <laughs> we won't have equal outcomes. So, why are you complaining that it's not uh, equal? <laughs> you're, you're complaining now because it's not equal. But we're not going to have equal outcomes. Which one is it, Nikki Fuentes? You want it to be unequal as long as it's in favor of your uh, white brethren? I was going to say, I think he likes a certain kind of unequal, but maybe not every kind look, of unequal. Look, everybody, it's pretty obvious. The world's not equal, but I'm really angry right now that they're making it unequal. Wah! Kick my feet, pick my boogers, eat them! All these minority farmers have had it too good for too long. When are white men gonna get their chance? Man, that's the worst part about it, is that uh, if you're a like one of the good white men, you're doing just good. If you're one of the good whatevers, you're doing just good. There's was, a, there's that, a percentage of people that are doing very good, and there's a percentage of people in all races that are fucking suffering. But we're over here split up because um, Nikki Fuentes wants to pick pick uh, shirts versus Nikki skins. Nikki Fuentes, how's it going? He wants to pick teams. And his nose. Discrimination. So that will always be an argument. We cannot rewrite the past. And disparities between individuals and groups will never be muted. So there will always be a justification. Excuse Uh me. There will always be a justification to therefore then discriminate against white people. Um, Because we can't rewrite the past. So So you can always claim historical discrimination. And you cannot eliminate disparities between people individually or in groups so there will always be in inequities inequalities <laughs> I, do, I do like that he has adult hands and the rest of him is a boy <laughs> I've got no strings to hold me down he loves cat boys I mean you can't fault him there whatever genetics makes you grow discriminated against little Nikki <laughs> <laughs> We're not all equal. Some of us are five foot four and have no friends and buy weed to make friends and they all say no. And so long Billy, as... Billy, that was very brave of you to admit, even if you did a silly voice when you did it. No. Those two reasons... <laughs> no. <laughs> ...are a legal and viable exception to anti-discrimination. White people will continue to be discriminated against legally by the government, and by private entities, too. That's what this is saying. It doesn't matter. Restaurants, farms, affirmative action, you know, universities, all of it. Oh, well, you know, we won't let white people apply. White people need not apply because of racism and disparities. Game over. Game over for whites in America. Yeah, game over for whites in America. Everybody, everybody who's white, just pack it up and uh, go, go. What you got to do is find those paths that the Mexicans took up from Mexico into America, and just follow their footsteps down into Mexico. Because it's over for white people in America. You're done. Sorry. If you're lucky, maybe you could get on a cruise ship and jump off at a harbor and swim into some uh, tiny little tropical 
retort and live your life because it's over for white men it's in America. Over. over. Sowed concern and anger through networks of black farmers. Some have spent decades fighting unsuccessfully to get their share of legal settlements over past discrimination by the Agriculture Department. Now they are worried that the money set aside for debt repayment could get delayed for years in legal challenges. Oh, boo-hoo. Boo black hoo. farmers are angry because these legal challenges are holding up their money. Okay, so the statistic I'm reading, out of three and a half million farmers in the United States, only 45,000 of them are black. There's hardly any. What? There's hardly any. Wow. Wow. And they've already been fighting for decades to get free money from the government because of racism. Uh, Boo-hoo. John Wesley Boyd, a Virginia... It's just, very easy to dismiss that. Yeah, I, I just can't take somebody boohooing and then using boohoo against other people. This was an entire this entire campaign of America First is these privileged little fucks boohooing. They're whoa, you're taking away my freedom, you're taking away my America. You know, I just want to be a Catholic. Taking away my America, sweet boy. Yeah. Yeah, like, and- has- has anything bad happened to you ever? Shut the fuck up. You're fine. He got banned from CPAC. That's like the worst thing that's ever happened Did to him. Did get banned from CPAC, well, which also, is basically his Holocaust. I don't so, know if this is permanent, but he's on a, a no-fly list, too. Yeah, and he's generally nice. unliked by his classmates growing up. Uh, he's the only fans he has are other disgruntled, disenfranchised loser white boys and uh, adjacent losers. Grain farmer, who is the founder bad. of the National Black Farmers Association, said, "Quote: We're getting the short end. Any time in the it's United States, it's we mean yes. Like us might look white, but they're nothing white about us. And white people will look at us and know we're not white. Difference being, I don't suck off anyone to feel a parte of something. Coconut sellout Fuentes. <laughs> Damn." Damn, Mighty Five. I like Damn. that. Coconut sellout Fuentes. If you have not yet liked the stream, liking the stream makes you smarter and more attractive. Just like it up to get to 200. We, we just need to get to 200. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all There's we need. There's money for blacks. Point. Those groups speak up and say how unfair it is. But it's not unfair when they're spitting on you, when they're calling you racial epithets, when they're tearing up your application. Please, when is that happening? Give me a break. You've got mayors of the largest cities, presidents, you know, you name it, walking down the street in the name of Black Lives Matter. People are calling you racial epithets. I'm about to call you one right now because of how ridiculous that are is. Are you? Do it. Tara go, oh, Do they're it. spitting on us. Do it, pussy. As they're spitting on us. Please. Mr. Lewis says he tries to look beyond issues of race and has a white wife. White in-laws. You have to check his toupee for a minute there. Yeah. And white family on his mother's side, but ignoring race can be impossible in a small town where he lives, he said. I want him and Caden Cowger to go on a date with each other. I think they'd like each other a lot. He hunts fishes and holds conservative views. He's more of the cowboy type. He needs a strapping ubermensch to slap him around and put him in his place. Him and Caden Cowger would just sit there and submit to each other's whims. Be fucking pussified personification by the way guys best way to know whether or not we're live or not uh you can follow the calendar there's a link in the description to our google calendar or you can join the discord join the discord uh there's a link below for that you can hop in there uh i always send out on if you have your notifications on i send out a, a notification to everyone uh about a half hour before we go live and if you don't want to use discord there's also twitter and facebook i i post there too so versus by saying son of a buck he has voted republican in past elections but unlike most of his neighbors he voted for biden in other words black farmer white wife white family on his mom's side lives in a small town says son of a buck hunts fishes has conservative views votes republican except for for biden gee but there's just one thing there's just one thing i mean he has all the appearances of being a perfectly assimilated American, but there's just, there's just one thing. What could it possibly be? That's so weird. 
I mean, he's got more in common with these white farmers than I do. He's a son of a buck. And he hunts and fishes. I don't hunt or fish. I don't say that. I say damn it and F word, right? Yeah, that's what he ties says, us together is our cuss words, which, right? You dumb yeah. fuck. Which F? Because I only say one of them. Son of a buck. He and hunts which and which one fish. may surprise you? He's conservative. He's got a white wife. He's got a white family. And yet, he has these strong views on the other side of the issue. What could it possibly be? Every Maybe it could be that uh, Donald Trump has absolutely nothing to do with his lifestyle whatsoever at all. And at least Joe Biden is, uh, I don't know, going down to the pool and being fucking creepy weird. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> He's going to the pool. Well, I don't know what Biden has to do with that either. Oh. Maybe it's all the descendants of Corn Pop. Joe Biden probably would say son of a buck. I don't he know. He probably would. That's... Anything about him would say American, assimilated, post-racial has more in common with whites in proximity to him than other whites elsewhere, but what could it be? Oh, he's black. And they're white. You don't oh! say! I, I couldn't figure it out. He is black, black, and they are white, and it matters. And clearly it matters, especially when- Black guys fought on my face matters. The law starts to come out and say, we're going to give to black people by taking from white people. You know, suddenly then it matters. Then it doesn't, it then matters a lot less what your culture is and you have a white wife and you say son of a- He keeps saying, he, he keeps harping on the having a white wife. A buck and it, you know- It's like he's sort of mad about it. Right. Oh, yeah. It starts to matter. White nationalists do not like when uh, the white women uh, breed with non-white men. I traded in my white wife for white wine. Didn't look back. The skin color this business right when this is how it's going down. What have I told you <clears throat> for years on this show? This is not the consequence of cultural Marxism, intersectionality, critical race theory. This is the consequence of multiracialism. You have got different people living in the same country. It's not a ranked society. There is no clear social order. It is full social. <laughs> he wants a ranked society. He wants like a caste I don't system. Know. It, it, I was going to say it, it kind of works in India. Let's. Um, let, I mean, let's give it a shot. What is it going to be worse? Is it going to be worse? No. In let's, India, let's give it give it a shot for for ten years. In India, it's, it's not even the law anymore. The, uh, some people still do it out of tradition, but they're like. There's no, like, legally enforced caste system anymore, as far as I know. Yeah, so let's take a step further, legally enforce it, see how it goes. Cultural, legal equality between the races, and there is no core hegemonic, you know, group with primacy. And so what is the result? Ceaseless words conflict. In one sentence. Conflict over resources, conflict over power, conflict over flashpoint incidents, like, like a criminal being killed by the police conflict inevitable result of multiracialism and in particular here you've got a government thrust into power by a non-white constituency that says well now we're going to give to non-white people because of what white ancestors did and the white people say hey that's not fair and the non-white people say it's not fair but we've been trying to get this money for years we're mad at you now this is politics we want politics the money. forever has been about who gets what and you you rally your reason why you want something and and you put people behind it you get people who aren't of your condition not of your class not of your social circle to support you because you say hey yeah you know what what they want what they need to thrive i think it would be better if they got that and then we'd all hopefully thrive together that's what politics always has been you're saying politics Pol is politics stupid. is i hope the most people like me how can i get more people to like me well that's what a politician is but politics is just who gets what it's always sure. been who gets what. And this right now we're arguing over who gets what. And Nick's saying, you shouldn't get what because you are only getting it because you're black. But like that's who gets what's been based on social uh, race for forever. It's been based on everything forever. It's who speaks for the black farmers. Well, Black farmers are getting a little bit of money. Hopefully, it 
puts them in a position that they can start paying back into the government at a higher rate and we get a return on Hello, our investment. YouTube. Coconut sellout Nick Fuentes here with my booger review. Huh? Oh dear lord, today my boogers taste like raspberry explosion. It's very creamy and uh, well formed. I am uh, so addicted I can never seem to say no. Today I give my boogers an 8 out of 10. Uh, how the how the fuck does the robot read creamy so well? I was going to say, I, I really enjoyed Stephen Hawking saying creamy. That was fun for creamy. everyone. Uh, ugh. Mighty Five says, Puta Madre Fuentes. Whoa. Your existence is oh. a result of two races mixing, you stupid fucking coconut. That's the only reason you're even here. I'm pretty sure me reading that was racist, by the way. That, di that didn't come off great, but I like your style anyway. Yeah, so Fuentes is at least half not white, right? Yeah, I mean, he's Hispanic. The name. Um, yeah. Fuentes. His white name is say no Hispanic. Yeah, yeah, and his people, though, they didn't pick fruit to get here. They picked boogies. Ha, <laughs> got, got him. Sorry, that was rude. I think I am very white and probably super privileged and uh, a little racist. So if I say something that offended you tonight, sorry, it's my privilege. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> We want the money. Non-white people say, well, we were discriminated against. White people say, well, that doesn't make it right. And non-white people say, well, yes, it does because of what happened in the past. And white people say, well, what about what happened before that? And you cannot build a society on this. Why? You can't build it's a society worse. on capitalism that just squeezes the money out of the poor and makes the rich richer and richer and richer. You can't build a society on that either. At some point, there's give and take. You have to give a little back to invest, hoping there's more people that will be able to give back to the, the, the government by their success. This diversity is, is intensifying. We're becoming more diverse and becoming more diverse faster than ever before. And you cannot build a society on any of this. You cannot build. Yeah, a like think how diverse we are now. Even mixed race people can be white supremacists. <laughs> it's very exciting. Being prosperous, 2000. harmonious human settlement and civilization on this, because of what I just said. That is what is happening on an individual level. That is happening on a group level. That is happening in small towns AJ with farmers. Are the baddest bitches on Mike and Nashville TN. Hey, AJ and Matthew Tara, Cracklow. what up? Matthew Cracklow. Matthew Cracklow's in Nashville at open mic right now. Oh, damn. Nashville, Tennessee. He says, AJ and Tara are the only two tens I see. And that is happening in big cities with urban professionals. It's happening in universities. It's happening in government. Urban professionals. Are those rappers? That is what happens <laughs> in a <laughs> society. It's cool modi. Conflict. And you can't so build a society on something like this. Th these are not the building blocks of a successful prosperous civilization. So it's not going to work. It's not going to work for anybody. It's not going to work for the society and it's not going to work for white people because you know, you read about this stuff and of course this is just like you know, as a third party objective observer, you would say this nation will fail because of diversity. Not because of Marxism, not because of critical race theory, not because of intersectionality or Democrats or socialism. Diversity. It will fail because you have different kinds of people living together. Different kinds. Different kinds of people. <laughs> this is the oldest trick in the book. It's it. This infuriates me. Stupid people don't have everything they want or even everything they need. They don't have their basic needs met. And the stupid people look to see who they can blame for not having their basic needs met. And rather than blame the people who are pinching you for every last fucking penny, having you work slave labor, minimum wage, $2, $7 an hour, scrape your fucking tips, rather than blame the system that keeps you down, you look over at your damn neighbor who's struggling to make it in this world. And you're like, well, that's the problem. He, that's the problem. He puts that's people, the move. He, he groups people into kinds, all based yeah. on the pigment of their skin. And then... 
tries to make it seem like, well, these different kinds don't get along, but these kinds are all so much alike, you know? Like we're, all yeah. all white people, we're all we're all the same kind, so we get along better because we're so much alike one another, right? Yeah. Just say you want segregation. Right. I'd respect you so much more <laughs> if you if you just made it as the the segregation show with Nick Fuentes. Like I would I would understand I would very clearly understand where you're coming from, what your point is, and when and when we we could get rid of this veil of trying to help America. <laughs> races not cultures races because you've got a majority minority country M majority of racial and ethnic minorities that's why no clear majority no clear hegemon no clear group with primacy no core population that is why it will fail for that fact Did you say no group with primacy yeah i'm not i'm not familiar with that uh term be, Not for any other reason. First, Although basically. it could fail for other reasons, and he, but he's used it a couple the... times, and and I love these like it, like only this type of people like him him and his boy Spexo and everyone they they try to sound smart, but they aren't. They literally aren't smart, so they can only memorize like four ish big keywords. And just keep hammering those every minute or two, hoping you've forgotten they already used it a minute or two ago. Primus it's is Latin. sound very, very intelligent. Primus is Latin for first or best. Yeah. Primacy. I, 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 Being he, first. It's like the yeah. new supremacy. The prim the this is white primacy. So primacy. This is white Fact primacy. Is it's, this. It's, it's, it's saying that Primus is the best band. Look. That's primacy. It's saying that anybody named Sue is the best. It's Sue Primacy. And that's what I would say as a third party objective observer. As a white person, though, in particular, this spells trouble for white people. Because the country is becoming but does more. It? <laughs> yeah. So uh, everyone who hasn't liked the stream, please like it because the Nick Fuentes simp's. This will get shared in some discords and some message boards somewhere, and for the next week or so, they'll be coming in here. They all say the exact same shit. They're like a weird hive mind. They like there's no individuality whatsoever, so they all use there's the like exact those, same insults. Those, those first, those two guys on the top are are dysgenic, right. but. Can't say a lot bad about that third guy. Or a non-white. Then... Totally. Hitler's ideal man. Third guy, pretty cool. White. And non-white people resent us. They think that they're entitled to take from us because of historical wrongdoing or disparities. And soon they'll have the power to do that. And there will be almost nothing stopping them from doing that. Almost nothing Because they won't protect them. our rights. If they hold all the cards, if they wield the levers of power, who will stop them from discriminating against well, us? If you or have worse, all this primacy, or targeting you us, stop them? or persecuting oh, us, this is what you're Nothing trying to do. You're trying them. to stop them by whining and crying. Oh, I was going to okay. say, are you are you the superior race, or are you being persecuted? Which is it? How can you have both? If white people, if if your if your kind is so much stronger, smarter, and superior, how did this bill to help minority farmers ever get passed? How didn't you shut that shit down at first sight? Yeah, I do think I do think that if it was left up to Nick Fuentes and his ilk to save the white race, that we definitely would be done for. We'd but, be dead. <laughs> but. We're going to be just fine. And Hopefully that, everybody else in this world is just fine with us. That's the point, right? As as a white person, I have never worried about the security of white people. Yeah. I think we're all right. I've never even locked my car door when a black person walked by on the street. Yeah, And you've even, only lost, what, three, four cars? That's pretty good numbers. They were good cars, but not, he, not they as were good, good as Canadian. Fuck off Yes! <laughs> Is Nick Fuentes Canadian? Yeah. Huh. Is Billy Canadian? You <laughs> may have faith in their I'm goodwill, Canadian. and I don't know why they, I don't know why you would. But once white people are displaced in power, it matters a lot less what we think about their intentions than what their intentions actually are. You could say they're cultural Marxists all you want, but once the keys are turned over and white people are an absolute minority in this country and shrinking all the time, we are going to have less and less of an ability 
to resist. I mean, the the white people genes aren't going to just like evaporate just because there's some. So, other... And like for this specific problem, what is his solution for this? Like, is, is he saying we need to like how, how like he has a final based on solution. what he just said? I was going to say the only solutions are one completely stop immigration and two. It sounds like he wants to start killing minorities. Maybe whatever I'm putting words in his mouth. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> plans are for us, whatever the reason is that you might think. So, you know, today they say, well, you don't get the stimulus from the COVID relief. What happens in the future when they say that we're going to take white people's land? We're going to take white people's, Slippery slope. people's money. We're going to kill happen. white people. What happens then? <laughs> Who's going to stop what that from happening? What happens then? Well, I guess they take our land and kill us. Uh, if history repeats itself, it's uh, par for the course. <laughs> happening. I don't and think what do all th white people should be killed. But there's a couple. <laughs> Nick Fuentes? Nah, I, I think the... We need to stop. I think you can guess. Yeah, I don't want to say. We, we need to I think stop picking on poor Nick Fuentes. Yeah, All he ever nice did guy. was rabble rouse and act like an idiot and pick his nose and eat his boogers. It's, it's kind of adorable. And he went on a date with a cat boy. Yeah, and he went good, on a date with a cat you, boy. Nick defended the I was going to say, he's not all bad guys at the end of the day. He defended the cat boy. His, his major defense of cat boy was that he enjoyed a Hitler documentary. Yep. So like that, that, that's how you knew he was a good guy, even though he did some mm -hmm. homoerotic things. He's, no, don't worry, guys. Just because he plays with dildos and is is uh, is, is offensively gay adjacent, gay adjacent. Don't worry about that. He watched a Hitler documentary, so he's a good guy. That says Nick Fuentes. No big deal. He's willing to bend for his morals as long as there's some hot man cat meat on the line. I'm kind of a fan of the very gay fascist type of guy. Like you don't get it a lot, and it's always very funny oh, but it's he, always someone like severely mentally ill yeah. nick would not uh talk to lady maga though the the trans was it trans or cross-dressing cross-dressing cross yeah. yeah nick was yeah, not yeah. a fan of that but you play with cat boy you play with a little cat, cat boy. boy no problem with cat yeah. boy what are you gonna do say if the shoe were on the other foot what are you gonna do what, what are you gonna say at that point well this is cultural marxism what how many fucking it's not hard times to see. has he said cultural Marxism, intersectionality? Like, he's just hitting the same shit over and over. He doesn't know what any of it means. He's got a time slot to fill. Oh, sure. by the way, they let you do Content polls on... Content is They let you do polls on Subscribestar now. Oh. I just realized that while I was posting links to the post show. That's Where this happen. goes? Do it's they not let hard you to smoke see. polls on Subscribestar? <laughs> I don't know. That's only flans. Hmm. Where the last stop on this ride is. It's already happened in Zimbabwe. It's happening right now in South Africa. It's not hard to see where this goes. And everyone understands so that. So you're when telling it's me that they, uh, they eliminated all the white people in Zimbabwe? Yeah. Uh, America, the next Zimbabwe is what I'm hearing. Is, is that... Is that is that the argument here? That's the, the statement <laughs> yeah, I think being so. made? <laughs> Dude, Guys, they already took over Zimbabwe. America's next. Anybody else? The ADL or SPLC will come into a grade school and they'll lecture middle schoolers about how, you know, making a joke about Jewish people could lead to another Holocaust, right? So everybody perfectly understands this principle when it applies to non-white people. And they literally do. Now... <sighs> He's trying to make a point here, but if that joke was really, really good, a really funny joke, yeah. and the entire class was like, oh, this guy's aces, he's a mad lad, we love him, and they started building him up, and he ran for high school president. Before long, he gets out and goes to college on a full scholarship ride, continues telling these jokes, graduates Harvard, magna cum laude, oh. gets, gets, goes run for actual president, becomes president of the United States of America, and brings on the second Holocaust. Well, Nick... Joke's on you. It could happen. That They go into fourth True. grade, second grade classrooms and show people videos of mass graves and emaciated Holocaust survivors and say, this is what happens if you, you make a joke about Jewish people, <laughs> right? This is what could happen if you perceive Jewish people as different from yourselves. 
And in this country today, you know what they did in this article that I just read to you? They capitalize black, Hispanic, and indigenous, but not white. Why would they do that? What would the purpose of that be? They capitalize black, Hispanic, and indigenous, but not white, as in white people and black people. In this article that I just read about how non-white people get priority COVID stimulus okay. and... I give up. I'm Team Nick now. He just he's brought cold hard facts to the table. They took away our capitals. They capitalized black, the Hispanic, all the all the other ones got capitalized, but white wasn't capitalized. That's not right. All right. They took away That's the capitalism. That's fucked up. That, I'm going to have a capital attack too. Mm-hmm. Electric Boogaloo. This time it's the capital letter. Not the White House, the white homes. You better capitalize white, okay? White people I need a are- big old West Coast Tupac W. Capitalize. None of this lowercase bullshit. Oh, my God. Are not priority, and don't get COVID stimulus. That's not, we don't see where that's going. Uh, that's well it's impossible for it to go that way because white people were the oppressors and white people are in the majority okay well not for long you know give it 20 years give it 20 years that's not even a full lifetime give it 20 years see what happens nick if you stop fighting for a while like i remember we were 20 years ago and the problem is the pendulum swings Have some money Bay, fat old guy. Love you too, Papa. Thank Way you for the go, love. Way to go, fat old guy. Thank you for the love. The pendulum swings. It goes all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and we stay basically at the same fucking place forever. It's the same average. The same average on most things. Uh, we get these wins that... that they look like wins because they effectively are, right? Like, we have these wins yeah. where people get rights. And we're like, well, finally, more people have rights. But the, the rights they have are the rights to live freely into a system where they pay back into the capital. And the bottom line is the money doesn't change. The rich get richer, no. the poor get poorer. And that's the secret. The system is not broken. It works perfectly for 1% of the population. Everybody else is a cog. All in all, we're just another prick in the wall. Exactly. You know, I mean, the the average life expectancy is, what, 80 years old? No, so I'll be alive until, what, 2080? And then what? And then what happens? And then your grandkids will probably make fun of you while you shit your pants and nobody visits you in the hospital. Will he have grandkids? Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll find some weird woman that wants to be his beard, and she'll have his kids, and he'll <laughs> he'll live that life where he pretends to be father, and he'll make kids weaker than him. Never happy. Yeah, he'll he'll never he'll, he will never be happy, but he'll make kids that are even more weak and and limp than he is. Look at this bend right now where he looks like he's about to pounce on a, a sack of cocks. A and, and sack of cocks. A whole cocks. sack of cocks. <laughs> and 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 that's and that's the way it's gonna be. And his kids are gonna be brat little privileged shitheads. How about a satchel of cocks? A satchel well that's his grandfather. Ooh, a satchel. His mm-hmm. grandfather rode in on a satchel of cocks. And now poor Nikki, he's got a sack of cocks. His kids will have a I don't know, a vibranium fanny pack full of cocks. It's mm. the future. In 20 years, what are they going to say? Oh, well, you know, hey, white people just turned a minority, so now that doesn't apply. Does it turn around that easily? Are they going to change their minds all of a sudden? Well, we were uh, ramping up these anti-white policies, but it appears the clock has just striked 49.9%, and now white Strikes. people are no longer... The, the clock has striked 49.49%. That's, you know, how, you know how clocks work, those percentages? You know how clocks be? You know how clocks do be like that. Hey, and now to our professional clocksman, Flavor Flav. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> you know how clocks be. Nikki Fuentes, get them. Majority, therefore, they now have these protections or 
Are we going to cross the finish line where they say, well, uh, white people have finally paid for their historical wrongdoings. Time to stop the anti-white policies. We've achieved total rectification Time to of do some new wrongdoings, white people. Yes. Oh, so you're telling me my debt's all paid off. Okay. We can do them again. Okay, I've been taking, waiting for this shit all I'm year. I'm taking out a loan. <laughs> historical oppression. That day will never come. That that 180 will never happen. And they're not doing it for ideological reasons. They're doing it for racial reasons. And it won't stop on its own. And nobody is going to come in and stop it. We have to stand up and stop it. We have to call it what it is. First, we have to have the balls to just say what it is. The same, and Nick. Say, say it. that it's wrong. It took, you, it took you nine minutes to say that the farmer was black. Spit it out, you <laughs> fucking prick. You've, you've spent hours and hours talking like about the cookie monster. I like that he teases monster. you for a while. Yeah. He makes you earn it. We're going to have to say it, but not before we talk for three hours about cookie monster in the ovens full of cookies. Yeah, you're a fucking <laughs> pussy prick. You're not direct. You're a coward. Uh, say it now, Nick. Be a man. Grow up, you fucking pansy. Case in itself, not because if the shoe were on the other foot, because it's wrong and because we're us and we won't accept it because you know what? We built this country on rock and roll. White people founded this country. We're oh, yeah. white. Gotta and tell you, gotta tell you, if you look at the history of this country, we had a little help. No, I don't think we're going to be replaced so that we could all be round up and killed. I don't think that we're going to be replaced. Especially so not if we do that first. Right. Yeah. That's the best way to avoid that, This right? is seriously like, like uh, is this the abuser's um, thought process? I did this to people. They're going to do it to me if I don't do I it to them did it again first. and bigger. I'm not the bad guy. I'm just smarter. Yeah. Oh, that... We could now be oppressed. We could now... Why would I go along with that? Because I'm a liberal and it's the right thing to do? Tell me why it's right that an unborn white child will suffer to accommodate an unborn black child. Tell me why I think there why needs that's to be more children unborn of all races. That'd be great. But in answer to your question, Nick, it's because white people are objectively worse. <laughs> right. Why I should go along with it. Because of what? Slavery? Slavery has always existed since the beginning of time. And every civilization has participated in it. But white people are supposed to say, well, you know, bad things happened in the past. So now our unborn descendants will work and toil and potentially die to make room for non-white children. I mean, as unborn no, non-white unborn children are... descendants are going to spend their entire lives knuckle and bone working and dragging uh, their, their carcasses in and out of the, that fucking paycheck line so that we can pay for bombs we dropped 10 years ago. You dumb shit. Yeah, I, I hear that. I hear the white people are going to have to build pyramids for uh, black Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to build pyramid schemes for them, though. We're lazy. Hmm. Primerica. That's a good one. <laughs> we really supposed to believe that? We're supposed to go along with that? I'm supposed to be a liberal and say, oh, well, it's my turn to get totally... <laughs> I guess it's my turn to get totally destroyed. Now, now it's our turn to die. Uh, no. Have you it's noticed, and I don't want to take sides here, but <clears throat> only conservative speakers do that, like that act out that he just did like a, a a left speaker has never done that like like trumped up act out like a fake fake outrage to no one like he's because there's, there's no one else there but you, like you know what i'm talking about like n n like o only that side of the political spectrum does that are we the, sure the about fake that outrage though? thing i feel like we get a lot of fake I don't outrage know if, like left does other dumb shit don't get me wrong but i feel like this specifically is just a right wing thing I, i'm i'm gonna give you this one but then i'm gonna remember every time that uh the, okay the 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 the, the, the nists get all angry and outraged about things that that's fair the femin the feminazis, I think, was the term that we coined. Well, okay, well, coined that. Women don't count, Billy. I'm talking about men. Whoa, whoa, Let's whoa. Be they can vote now, here. Scott. Scott, they can vote now. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? 
They got the vote. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, no. no. I'm. The, uh, they they the haven't. Vote. They didn't do a Nineteenth Amendment, did they? Got, they got the Nineteenth Amendment. They can vote now. Holy shit! Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to rethink this whole thing. We're, yeah. We'll come back to this next week. <laughs> they got vote. They got vote. Ridiculous. Ah, we got a, uh, a dono from Mighty Five. We got a few donos. We might as well read those, but there is still more of this video, but let's do the donos. Is anyone going to let Fuentes know that he's not white and his family most likely came to this <laughs> country in the last 50 years? Just tell Fuentes he's not white. He'll shit himself. Guy like him can't accept the reality that they're never going to be white. Damn. Damn. <clears throat> Missy Ann, I, I, I'm sorry. If I had known women could vote, I never would have said it. Yeah, I want to take that back because maybe women might want to vote for me someday. I'd like to issue an emergency apology. Yeah, this is number one apology from Scott. Number two apology is amendment apology from me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to fart and piss. Oh, so yeah. maybe, I'll do the, <laughs> maybe I'll do them both at the same time in the bathroom. Yes, please, please. <laughs> what about neither in the bathroom? There is something about peeing. That releases farts more easily. Yeah, to a degree, for sure. Yeah. Every, everything down there is loosened up. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the farts just slide right out when you're peeing. <laughs> now apologize in Chinese. I don't know about that stabbing the cugs. I feel like that could do more harm than good. I, what if I just, no, I, I was going to wonder if I could just do one offensive eye and that's sort of a gray area, but I guess I won't. <laughs> Can you apologize in cat? Absolutely. Meow, 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 meow. Oh my God. Bob, bobcats are pretty fucking awesome. And, and uh, links, yep. links are great too. I'll tell you what, and I've had this discussion more than three times in the last week. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. A lot of, uh, for some reason, mo um, the bulk of my time has been spent uh, v <laughs> violently discussing big cat tier lists. Uh, Lynx would be an S tier cat if not for the stubby tail. This tail, the tail takes it down. I, I can't, no, don't shake your head at me. A cat needs a good tail. No, so none of this cut off stubby shit. What about an it's ocelot? It's still a great cat otherwise. What about an ocelot? Ocelots are cool. They're cool. Uh, okay. They're up there. Yeah. They're not even large cats, you know? They're small. They're a mid-range. Yeah. 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 Uh, what's your favorite domestic cat breed? Do you like Maine Coons? Maine Coons are cool. I do, uh, I, I do gravitate towards short hairs though. So I think British short hairs are cool. Them little chubby gray fuckers. Yeah. They're nice. Um, uh, yeah, but the most, most are good. Then there's a few weird ones. Sphinx, get the hell out of here. Gets, get, I don't want to see your skin. Get some fur. And uh, Scottish Fold, you got weird ears. Get out of here. You got Everyone else weird cool. ears. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your dumb ears. Those dumb ears. Uh, talking did, about mine. Did you read all those streamlines before you left? Of course. Oh, okay. All right. Good solution is color mixing. Now we all white. Is that how color mixing works? Uh, with cut with light, it is. If you mix all different colors of light together, you get white light. But then when it comes to, like, paint, uh, mixing all colors together, you get black. See, if we all just color mixed and pushed uh, the races into one race, we'd probably save a lot of money on, like, makeup. Everybody always buys. Uh, like, I thought you were going to say war. <laughs> no, nah, I guess war, too. But everybody always gets that foundation to make their complexion a little, like, shade darker. You'd just be able to be a shade darker because we all mixed. What? And is that racist? All cats are beautiful. That's the reality that underlies the whole world. 2021. And you could have white liberals that are going to say, oh, well, what, you know, it's just skin color. Tell that to these people. Tell that to these people. It's just skin color. Oh, it's just skin color. It literally is just that. You, for some reason, group people together buy skin color and take credit for the accomplishments of other people who have similar skin color to you. Uh, Gotta support the team. Right, right. Um, why not just pick other genetic 
traits that people have rather than Big skin hands. color. I mean, there's a bunch of them. So then why are and they... And then people will go and argue and say, well, he can't be a white supremacist. He isn't even white. But there are people who are Chicago Bears fans that weren't from Chicago. Yeah. It happens. Don't worry. Why capitalize... Yeah, no, he, is, he is very much both a white supremacist and not white. He is those two things at Black, the same time. then, and not white. You know, it's just skin color. Well, why did they get the farm subsidy? Why did they get the free land grant? Why did they get the restaurant relief? Why did they get the spot in college if it's we're all interchangeable, I guess, right, liberals? But no, bad things happen in the past. People in the past who are not alive today did things to people in the past who are also not alive today. So now... But some of the businesses that benefited off of those bad things that happened in the past are alive today and still oh, earning yes. a whole lot of money. Oh, yes. So the ghosts is out there and they're haunting. Uh, by the way, Ben, I want to point out that we are $37.80 away from you taking a big old bong rip and a shock to the throat at the same damn time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it stimulates from both the in and out, you see. <laughs> It's like a lingam it massage. Yes, a lingam massage in my throat. <laughs> I've got to pay for it, and so do the unborn. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to fight for myself, for my future descendants, and for my people. And I don't need to talk about uh, a shoe my being on people. people with similar pigment to me. Yep. No, yeah, fun. fight I mean, for your people. I'm going to continue doing what I do, and my descendants will probably be happy, fun little fucking uh, cherubs laughing at your descendants. Chill, Papa. You don't have to do so much work. You're making it you're harder. Fine. You're making it harder for your descendants. You dumb shit. You talk about any other group or, or. It's funny because Nick Fuentes would consider both. Greek people and people from like Ireland, white people, but the skin, like the average skin tone of someone from each one of those countries is hardly comparable. Well, that's because he's wrong and Greek people aren't white. <laughs> the end. White Anybody? stops just before Italian. Just before Italian? So it, yeah. uh, just before. So yeah. is Italian white? No. Let's be very clear. <laughs> Italians. Not my people. <laughs> yeah, Joe's Italian, and he'll be the first one to tell you. He's not white. Well, he, he'll he tell you that he doesn't matter if he's white or not. He's Of course not. He's Joe. That's something yeah. that a not white person would say. Well, you know, that's the I, other thing. I well, am it, very white. It doesn't matter if I'm white or not. If I was any other shade of the fucking color, I'd still try as hard yeah. as hell to be me. But uh, I don't have to try because I am me. Ha <laughs> ha. It's wrong when it happens to anybody. Well, it's not happening to anybody. It's not happening to everybody. It's happening to us. It's not is everybody it, that is experiencing racism. Is it boogeyman, boogerman? You're making the boogerman, Nick. Boogernick, boogernick, boogernick. Racism, it's white people. It's not everybody that's being persecuted. It's white people. Is Mexico under attack right now? No. Is Nigeria under attack right now? Trump's or Bob is attacking Nigeria. No, but you know what is? That's true. The United States, Canada, France, UK, Germany, Italy, Australia. So you could as say, a, well... As a white Canadian, I, I don't feel attacked. No, and, your borders have uh, been closed forever, too. Yeah, but go to a high... Go, go to a college, Scott, and try and say something about trans people. Yeah, your rights are being stripped the, from you. Believe me, I have, <laughs> and it's gone poorly. Canada is basically one big concentration camp now. It's been pretty cool keeping Americans out, though. <laughs> like, it's been pretty chill here, I gotta say. Damn. I want to go to the Nordic Lodge buffet. What's wrong when it happens oh to God, anybody, and most. that very well may be true, but it's not Scott, happening can to you anybody or everybody. For it is days. So that we can go to Nordic Lodge Buffet. To go to a buffet in Rhode Island? <laughs> yes. I'm but considering it. Us. Let's so do it. So let's just start to talk about that. They're doing parades in the streets saying Black Lives Matter. Oh, yeah, but it's wrong when it would happen to everybody. Well, you know, we don't really have to worry about it for them because Bank of America has their back. 
And so does the Biden administration, and so does the FBI, and the CIA, and the NSA, and the Brookings Institute, and the Atlantic Council. So I, I think they're covered. You know, I think they're good. And, and Kanye West and LeBron James, they're covered. We're the ones that can't even speak in defense of ourselves without being called white supremacist and then marginalized. You can speak in defense of yourself. You just got to be able to speak a little better than you're currently doing. So yeah. we're a little over our normal runtime of two and a half hours. Uh, we're going to probably wrap and go to a, a, a pretty quick uh, post show. No zap? I mean, if, if we don't hit I mean, it. If someone wants we, to throw down I'll, a I'll little put a timer up on the screen and for two minutes. Two minute time. Two minutes, you cowards. <laughs> Maybe they just, just like do me it. that much and they don't want me to get zapped. That's got to be it, yeah. You guys like Ben too much. Yep. That's the problem. I guess so. They, you know, they don't want to see you hurt, Ben. And you know what? I don't either. Except right now, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> And for us to know that you guys get the full two minutes, when it gets down to the last 10 seconds, we need those people in chat to count down in chat 10, 9, 8, Absolutely. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 with the timer so we know y'all are seeing at the same time. It's the only yeah. way to do it. Technology is just not advanced It's enough. the only way to fly. It's the only way. Damn, st sticky. You are less than two hours away from the Nordic Lodge. If you don't go by this weekend at the latest, you are a coward. Yeah, Sticky, for real, we might have to go to the Nordic for Lodge. Real. If I can talk Scott into climbing over uh, into America and then spending 14 days in his room sweating out lobster. No, no, no. no. F 14 days in quarantine. The first few days of those uh, pending a negative COVID test will be in a government mandated hotel at $1,500 to $2,000 of my own expense. Yeah, it's worth it, Scott. It's Nordic Lodge Buffet. I don't Billy disagree. Comes up I, with these, I'm on your side. <laughs> Billy comes up with these ideas all the time, but he never does them. What do you mean I never do them? You never do them. I do stuff like this all the fucking time. You've been for like two years now talking about going to Wyoming, hang out with King Cobra. Never happens. I just never got back gets closer. from L.A. and Atlanta. Never gets closer to happening either. I just got back. There was a all fucking talk. quarantine. And before the quarantine, I literally. This is, this I, is the I same excuse even, you hear about why I, he doesn't have a passport yet. I, I didn't even. 100%, How's that passport going? I didn't even 100% finish my two weeks after the second shot. And I was already out on the fucking plane and i was within a week of quarantine came back from a plane ride your boy your travels passport. i don't have a passport uh, but I, all I right got, I got your a, boy travels i don't three, have a passport two, one no zap for ben. countdown no ben, zap. they care too, it's like they care too much they got really close to the goal to the like halfway point too but they just didn't want me we're to so proud they love me we're so proud of you guys they love me they love me <sighs> So they love me more though, and that's why they would. He totally turns everything into it. a competition. They totally would have got four hundred if it was for me, because they love me more. They'd be like, <laughs> "Yeah, we'd hit that four hundred for Billy." They love me more. <laughs> and the whole time he's doing this weird thing that he does with his legs. I'm where rocking he's like, a boner back and forth, Ben. I'm air fucking my fat thighs. He's trying to do a uh, no hands come. Yep, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do no hands come too. I've already done one. Sure, yeah. I got a, I got a sloozy, slippery mess in my lap right now as we speak. I'm using that as lubricant. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm I'm God. more of a lubricant guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to use some lubricant? Nope, I'm a lubricant. <laughs> I'm a lubricant. None of this. All right, we Dry. are going to do a post show. Uh, the post show tonight is for patrons only. It's through Vimeo. So only our patrons and and uh, um, people who are members of this channel or you're on Subscribestar, all of you will get the post show Yeah, that we will do immediately following this episode, uh, which we're going to do in a minute or so. Spoiler here. alert, we're all stars now in the post show. We are. We are definitely Scott. You want to tell them the cool truth of the Jamaican bobsled team? <laughs> cool running, man. I would love to tell you uh, a, a shot for shot description of cool runnings. But in lieu of that, because I do see we're short on time, I'll tell you to send me money at uh, paypal.me slash not Scott Henson and Twitter at not Scott Henson 
and go ahead and listen to the worst year of our lives podcast. Uh, just dropped one today on uh, the 2008 Oscars. And uh, for each uh, one of those, I uh, I do a parody of the title of the movie that won Best Picture. And I was fairly proud of uh, this one. Uh, 2008's Best Picture winner was Slumdog Millionaire. I was like, Slumdog Millionaire, more like cum shot in your hair. Ooh. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> I was pretty, pretty proud of that. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, tomorrow we'll be doing the pre-show for Actual Mania. So, uh Now's the time to sign up if you want to catch it tomorrow. We'll see you then. Have a great night, and we'll see all of the patrons in the post show. Love you, Scott. Love and you guys watching. Love you too, baby. And Bye-bye. I almost played the antagonism intro again, but oh, I caught myself. Oh, I would myself. have screamed at you. I caught myself. All right. Here we go. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.